Kicking like Dolomite. Last one got copyright. I'm kicking like Dolomite. Hey, one time, you ready? Copyright. Yeah. Last one got copyright. Hey. You know what time it is. Every time I rhyme, it's just a sign that I'm about to kill. Yeah, it's time for weapon wheel. We got the skill, we got the games. Don't make me grab it still. I put a hole in one like Abby did to Joe. Yeah, for sure. When it comes to aiming, I don't miss like Master Chief. I'll grab the piece and give your ass to Halo just for talking sweet. When it comes to gaming, yeah, you know our team's elite. Check the leaderboards, we run the game. You should pick up your feet. You can't lose them too smooth. Just going to admit defeat. It ain't no capping around here, cause like Vond, I keep receipts. The most dangerous, better than these other guys. Try to come for us, what's like between your eyes like Jen Sakai? That's no lie, no prank. I grab the ratchet, no clank, and get my jiggy mask to show you how Jack Move got his name. Yeah. Weapon wheel Look, look, look. King of the castle, like Cooper, captain of the ship. My name ain't Blandry, but don't make me have to hit the switch. We'll dump you overboard, then watch the views. I ain't talking Twitch. Hey, yo, Alex, go ahead. Talk to him real quick. Oh, the Dolomite is my name, and sick enough, motherfuckers is my game. Dolomite, motherfucker, you heard him. Claim it, a strike to claim it. Say yo, still putting wheels on the pavement. My game's so tight, it's like Jordan one lazy. We stay in these gaming streets, ain't no way to be dormant. Hey, a Drake will leave your body uncharted like Lost Fortune. Call on scene was cute, hey, and yeah, it served its purpose. But I'm trying to give a detailed description of what a hearse is. I say we flip the switch on these against before it get bland. I see a lot of pods jacking the format like that, but damn, you hitting the dislike button? You still a fan? Talk slick in the comments and like Dutch, I got a plan. We don't do the sneak dissing, that's that stuff that gets you banned. Last time we told your fair was squad up, you turn telling right? gotta go. It's like I play with the sliders up. Get it. You just got 30 to get her me the time is up. Since 2015, we've been kicking game knowledge up. Dust your boots and join the crew if you wild enough. Developers, developers, developers. 40 clips, kicking like dolomites. Hey, 40 clips. Aimed at your fit beam, shoddy, so much ammo, it don't make sense. Trying to compete is a sacrifice, die again in your afterlife. I'm taking a road trip any time you want to fight. Guns and body counts, that's all that I tend to like. Any other podcast, a copy, it look alike. Hey, hey, and what they say? What they say, huh? Hey, what I say, hey, I put them in the dirt. Toss it, get hurt, no face, no case, mess up like a jiggy merch shirt. Sliding in that vet, I'm gonna get back, time to pay that debt. Weapon wheel. Wonder what weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy you still. What weapon well, we keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy you still. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. What weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What Weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and steal. BG, Black Vine, Jack Move, Kiss Move, Blandrew, Alex Two. Damn man, that's a heavy crew. Other pies, they don't know what to do. They watching, they copy our every move. And they still fly like the Wii U. Jack Move voice, we saying, you hop off the roof. Long range, no scope, yeah, I'ma shoot. Just like wanna play games, no David Blaine, but I'll make a nigga go poof. Oh, this not a game. Gang talk, they what you know about the slang. Hop out the range. All black master gonna step out your lane. Every week it's us on your screen. Every week and we entertain. It's not a thing that gets in between. Me and my team, me and my gang. When I'm on the beat, you already know. Trace to the top, yeah, we about to blow. BG my dog, he told me let's go. Sit back, relax, it's time for the show. What weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and steal. What weapon well, we keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and steal. Weapon well, you weapon well. Watch I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, you weapon well. Watch I show you my weapon well. What weapon well? We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our move, they copy and steal. We got the guns on deck, no foul car, but you know I came with the tech. Yeah. Since 2015, been stepping on the scene, putting foots on next. Yeah. Set them up, super soaker, pump action, wet them up, shooting out the. Yeah, we catching up. We about to game, y'all all bark, drop by midnight. Ooh, they
copy and steal. We- weapon will hit the light, show us just how you feel. Yeah. What weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our moves, they copy and steal. What weapon well, we keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well, they watch our moves, they copy and steal. Weapon well, you weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. What weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our moves, they copy and steal. Yo, yo, yo. Mic check, mic check. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Chat, what up? Let me know if y'all can hear us. Check one, check two. We here. On this fine Sunday afternoon, we get to talk talk about gaming again. What a pleasure. What an absolute pleasure and honor to get in front of y'all every Sunday and tell us and, and we get to tell y'all our thoughts about gaming. The wonderful you gaming industry. I'm, you wanna know what I'm playing? Yeah, sure. I'm playing Bluey the video game. Wow. Um how do you feel about slaps. that? It slaps. It's better than Peppa Pig. Hands down. It's more is, intuitive. Do you think this is your bag? Is, is this your bag? Like uh, reviewing, playing and reviewing games meant for children three to five? It's a guilty play, but this is, I don't consider this a bag. This is an actual, like a respectable game. There's actually a community of grown men that play this game. I looked it up. Are they on a list they're on they're on they're on youtube yeah i'm asking are they on a particular list <laughs> uh, i i don't know i i i would hope not but but the game is very for a children's game like i said peppa pig was like all right it's a little bit too kitty for me i couldn't finish it but this one slaps it slaps man okay um, shout out to game pass man yeah i don't know um the people, the the grown men who play Peppa Pig and and uh, what's that dog show? Um, the other dog show uh, where they're like construction uh, workers and firemen, puppy pals. Oh, Paw Patrols. Paw Patrols. Paw Patrol, yeah. I said puppy pals. What the hell is that? Um, listen, they, I don't. They, well, they got a couple games that slap too, though. I, I don't know if these individuals can come within twenty five feet of of a of a school or a playground. I'm just saying, I don't know. Every every year, um, they one of those uh franchises like at least drop, drop a game. Um, but uh, mm. my this was something my daughter put me on. Um, I got it for her for Christmas, and then it dropped on Game Pass. So I'm like, I'm not mad at it. Okay. Jack, why you look constipated? That might be. Man, what the fuck? What's good, you. bro? Chilling, man. Look. Look like you need Tired, to man. I just got back in the crib, bro. Where you where you went out to? I'm get something to eat, man. Not not major no, though. Okay. I hope it wasn't Seven Eleven. No, still ain't done. What the fuck? Uh, where is um? I'm here. No, I, I know you're here, Bond. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because now that we hit camera, anytime I go to this, like, because right now I don't got I don't got it on camera view. People hit me up. Hey, y'all not on camera? Like, yeah, nigga, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm aware. Um, damn, y'all just y'all just think y'all obligated to see our faces, and y'all y'all just think y'all owe that now. Y'all might be right. Who's the Who's the Charizard? That's Jazzy. Char- 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 that's Agumon, Agumon, by the way. Sir. Thank yeah. you, BG. Oh, uh, that's not a Pokemon. No, it's a Digimon. Oh, yeah. I don't. I, I'm shocked that I actually remember his name, Agumon. I don't think I remember the the rest of them. Agumon, Angemon, Angewoman. 
Metal Agumon, War Gravemon. I don't remember all of them. Wasn't the evolved oh, version no. of the Wolf Abu? Was it Abu Terrymon or something like that? Garu. Abu Terrymon was one. Garu they sound like they, they sound like Japanese like food dishes. <laughs> you get like some Abu Terrymon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Wonderful Sunday. Let's get right into the podcast. Um, this is Weapon Wheel Podcast, episode 397. We are on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, all those uh, audio platforms. If you want to support the podcast, check out patreon.com slash Weapon Wheel Podcast. You can become a YouTube channel member by hitting the join button. Um, and you could just support the podcast by hitting the like button, which is absolutely free. Some perks on Patreon after dark. You know, you could submit any questions, no matter how debaucherous it is, we answer it. Get early access to Planet Xbox episodes with Attic and Smooth. Uh, you get is, access- it really, is it really Planet Xbox anymore? It's still, they're holding it down. It's still Planet I Xbox. Mean, I, mean, I mean, Phil Spencer rolled up to Planet Xbox like fucking Freeze on Planet Vegeta. Mm. He was just like... It's flicked it, man. Pause. Yeah. Um, he, he flicked the booger at it and blew it up. Shout out to uh, shout out to all the Xbox fans. You know they are adapting to the new normal. They have accepted the fate and they're holding holding in. They're holding on, man. Like, yeah, they, they accept the cuckery. Yeah, you know they're yeah, like. We ain't got no choice. I, I told they them. Got you. No, no, no. You have a choice. Y'all niggas are so cucked. You don't think you have a choice. Mm. Oh. Wow. Um, where was I? Oh yeah. If you if you want to submit uh gameplay. Um, like what you're seeing on the screen now, link is in the description. You can drag and drop your gameplay in there. We appreciate that. Uh, intros. Bond? Going on, everybody. Uh, one thing I learned this weekend is don't play Helldivers at, with people that live in the hood. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking E-Rock. Fucking E-Rock. <laughs> That's so I mean, I'm, trying to be, I'm trying to be like suburban divers. Like, niggas can't swim. Why are we diving? Mm. It, it, Alex, uh, you don't feel like a dirtbag. The fact that you you did something oh. terrible in Hell Divers and you blamed it on the only <laughs> Mexican that we know. <laughs> hey man, it was for content, bro. I, in the moment, I said, you know what would be so funny if I sacrifice this nigga, but because I had all the samples, so I knew you wouldn't go. We didn't need you to su- survive. Wow. And then the, the crawler fucking um, tackled me in my tailbone, so it didn't work out. But it made for funny moments. Yeah. Then you blame you scapegoated the Mexican, which is nuts. I I didn't say nothing. I just let y'all blame him. I didn't say he did it. I just wow. I just was quiet. <laughs> let him take the fall. I feel you. Yeah. Um, smooth. What's up, everybody? Uh, uh, still the best spot for the foreseeable future. But the best uh, spot. <laughs> uh, happy to be here. You know, check the Planet Xbox. Uh, episode thirty one now live. Uh, good show. Uh. Uh, finally getting some quality videos out, so check those out. Let's have a good show today. Yes, sir. Jack? Yo, what's good? What's poppin'? All right. Alex? Oh, this is uh, Mountain Dew, Terrence Howard variant. BG, I got some bars for you, bro. You about to bar me up? I said, hey, yo, it's Alex to the <laughs> And broken games and BG, my bro, like Ken, but this is no game. Sponsored by Manscaped. I heard you like them big and tall. They said BG like to manscape. How your first sponsorship about balls? Keeping us from nicks and scars. You helping with tub activities? I always knew you were a foam star. Time. <laughs> Come on, um, man. Wow. KD, we got, we got a battle coming up. Let's go. Let's get it. I hate this guy, bro. What did I, what did I just listen to? What the fuck was that? <laughs> that, that? That wasn't like bars. That was like an X. I, I don't know. Hey what? man. Hey, hey, re- rewind the tape. Y'all got- yo, <laughs> rewind hey, the hey, tape. We, let, yo, chat. Fire yeah. emojis or, or tomatoes em- t- tomato emojis. Let us know oh, what y'all think. <laughs> BG nah, my bro emojis. The kid with this stuff. I, I got I, I, I like the like- Ken flip. I feel I feel the Ken yeah. flip because my name is also Ken. It 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 worked. It works. So you I'm, mad that I, you mad that I called you a foam star? That's what you mad about. <laughs> I'm mad you still I'm still I'm mad you still keeping this this game alive by just just Come saying on. its name. Like bro, let it let it let it die, please. <sighs> Facts. Yeah, I let other niggas do volunteer work when I do it, it's a problem. Oh man. Uh the volunteer work we're looking for is kid smooth volunteer work. Yeah. Uh Jazzy, I believe you invited yourself. How are you? 
<laughs> yeah, I missed a play so there for like says Blanger's not here. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> set. Repeat that. I'm a placeholder until Blandrew gets here. What, that what was, last part. Repeat that. What, what was his uh, statement? What, what did he say at the end? Blandrew's Who's not here. here. Uh, Blandrew's not here. Oh, Blandrew. Uh, I believe Blandrew's statement was um in the in the weapon will DMs. I've been holding in this fart so long at work. I might not make it to the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I'm not making that up. Coming. Yeah, I'm not making that up. That's what he, he said. He said that at like five in the morning too. Yeah, mad early, like godly hours. That you shouldn't be talking about that. You know the grossest part about that is at the end of it he went, "Geez, like why? Why did he type that at the end?" <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's get started. Let me see where we. Oh, let me do this giveaway real quick. Uh, I hate doing this shit. Not because I, I don't like giving away stuff to y'all. You know, y'all. That's are great what I was people. about to say. You hate giving away people. No, I just hate uh putting up this this damn screen. Oh, I don't even. Oh shit. Hold on. Hold on. Let me multitask. I'm great at this. Let me. I'm great at this. Uh, boom nope that ain't it there we go all right uh as y'all know for the 12 dollar tier of weapon will podcast once a month do a giveaway uh to people only people in that t- in that tier so these are the names we spinning round and round it goes where it stops nobody knows the winner is oh get the hell out of here where what? Jazzy just won. Yeah. <laughs> who, wow. who, who made it? This is a kid swoop giveaway? <laughs> Talk oh, to that young Jeezy. What is you win, Jazzy? Nuts. And he's in the room. This is crazy. I can't even say it's rigged because I this is a randomizer and I did it myself. What you win, Jazzy? Um, give me that Nintendo eShop card or something. Uh, all right, I got you. Uh, just um. <laughs> Send me a message uh, tomorrow to remind me, Jazzy. If I don't, if I don't answer, then don't hit me up again. All right. Damn. All yeah. right. Yeah. Just uh, what do you win? A uh, card. Um, each, uh, Nintendo card. Whatever card they want for whatever platform. Yeah. Got. It. If you if you get ignored, if you get ignored, Jazzy, no, it's just 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 know it's a scam and play along with it. All right. All good. I won't even mention it. All right. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Play along. Play along. Um, all right. I want to get to some weapon wheel trivia out the way. Uh, Mafia Quad, start with you. In Grand Theft Auto V, what is the name of the in game television program that features a controversial and satirical animated show within the game's world? Is it A, San Andreas Stories, B, Los Santos Life, C, Blaine County Chronicles, or D, Republican Space Rangers? This is Grand I Theft think it's I think it's C. I think I'm gonna yeah. go C. I'm gonna go B. Mm. Anybody else? Smooth's not here. He usually be getting these right somehow. I'm gonna go A. Okay, everybody's wrong. It's D. Republican Space Rangers. Mm. I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, I do actually remember that. They had a DLC for the uh, multiplayer. They was giving those outfits out. So you weren't listening to the question there? Nope, sure didn't. Yeah. All right, Nick Knack. First, he said, first off, let me say I fucked up and my bad last week. Last week's trivia, as both Jack and Smooth corrected me on that. To be fair, I was writing that while in a hurry going to work. That being said, today's trivia will be super easy for you guys. Another gaming-related list. Spot what all of these things have in common. Uh, Shinnok from Mortal Kombat 10. Uh, Crash can. Kanji Tatsumi from Persona 4. Jake Muller from Resident Evil 6. SBO the, Ch- the Chameleon, particularly from 2010 to 2016. Um, and Joel from The Last of Us. What do all these games have in common? More specifically, <laughs> these characters have in common. They're white. Nope. Joe Shinnok. Um. Oh, the same voice actor. Yes. Who was the voice actor? Oh, Troy Baker. There you go. I wouldn't have got that. Yeah. yeah, I know. He, I knew he was the voice of Kenji and, and Joel. I didn't even think about that. Though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. That's a good question. That's a good one, sir. 
Just giving that man all the roles. Him and uh I didn't Fiona know he was people. the voice. I didn't know he was the voice of Shinnok and um I don't even know one of the people you name, but I ain't know yeah. that. Who who what was the answer? Uh Troy Baker voice acts all of them. Oh. Yeah. It's crazy. All right. Uh let me see. What are we gonna start out with? Um do y'all think it's possible to be a, to become an Xbox fan after the 360 era? Like if that's not no. where you started out, right? Like if that's nope. not what made you a fan after that, could any of those other generations make you a fan? No. And look, I've been saying it for, since the last two years of the 360, Microsoft hasn't been doing shit. Um, I'm going to say yes, it can, because from what I'm seeing on Twitter, most of the people in the Twitter Xbox community did not own a 360. They, they knew niggas. So I guess so. I well, actually, so. no. Jack might be right. I, yes, I will say you can be one if 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 you broke. There you go. If you broke, yep. Um, if you're broke and on welfare, like a Series S and Game Pass, what could be better? Uh, shit. I can say uh, yes, just on the basis of age. <laughs> but um, what I mean, mean, most or just age. I mean, we owed. So, like, a lot of people, like... Yeah, so it makes sense that there's a bunch of old Xbox fans. Like, are there young ones? are young ones. Yeah, like, because I'm saying, like, if you didn't become a fan, like, at the 360, it happened after, like, Xbox One and now, like, is it possible that people, that's when people become fans? I I think for the casual people, bro, because I remember even with PS4, um movies and tv shows were still putting even niggas in the raps were still putting xbox and 360 and shit um so i feel like if you was if you weren't in gaming already you probably still was falling into the hype of oh yeah 360 xbox you know for gaming because mm. i was peeping that as well like all the movies and tv shows i'm like why the fuck are they still talking about xbox? yeah i mean look at uh the boondocks xbox killer yeah because when we think about like the biggest xbox uh, fans in this community, they all be most of them be old heads, I, and, and some of them be really old, old and bald. There you go, or balding in the process. That, I mean, it, it's it's kind of true. Like I don't see, like I see I see plenty of like n- you know younger Nintendo fans, you know PlayStation fans. Man, I, a young lot of people are playing. Nintendo and PC, bro. That's what young people are playing, bro. They play Roblox, Fortnite, and all that. They playing PC, bro. You know what's crazy? At one point, we used to say we used to be happy PC gamers because we're like, oh, we don't have to deal with young kids on PC. Now you fucking do. There's more young kids on PC than probably on Xbox now. Yep. Yeah, it's it's become a cool, trendy thing. They you know they look at it because it's because of the streamer culture. They see their streamers with. You know, these these PCs, and that's what makes them want to get on it. You know, so it's cool. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, what else we got? Good morning, uh, everybody. Good af- Good evening. Hello, 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 brother. Are you still holding that, that fart or what? Nah, <laughs> my liver's good, bro. That thing I'm, I almost bursted out while I was at work. But Is I'm it, good. Do I, <laughs> Is it your liver? I ain't going to, I ain't going to the bathroom. You were gonna weld and you, you know, like when you want to go, but then it just doesn't like seep out. It was one of those situations. Every time I tried to go <laughs> oh, to the back, you saying you like, farted, you would have shit on yourself. You farted, you would have shit on yourself. No, no, it was just like a, a really huge discomfort. Like, How like, like, you be like, doing like, that, man. Like, if you have to go, but then you stand up and then it just goes like. <laughs> It goes right back in you, but you what? can't push it back out. It was one of those situations. Hold on, make that, make that sound. What sound was that? Do that guy something grabbing the fart back in the ass? He said it goes back up in your ass? What are you <laughs> talking about? You know them little 25 oh, percent machines with the little gummy hand that, like... Oh, my God. Hold up. Yeah. Are you giving that one to minute stomach? Are you, Blandre, are you giving yourself a Poseidon's kiss? <laughs> like, yep. standing up at work? <laughs> no, like, bro, yeah. you just want... I had, like, you ever had, like, one of those C4 energy drinks or something? No. Oh, nigga, no. you doing damage to your. It's not like you still. It's not like you still affected by it, bro. You don't even sound right. You good? Yeah. Why are you? Why are you drinking energy drinks, Blaine Drew? His booty hole. I, I worked. I worked, was was booty I worked thirteen hours at the night shift. It's rough for me to stay up that long. <laughs> the Drew make it worse. No, who else is? My thing is, who else is with you for you to be holding it like that? Oh, I'm in a whole. I'm in a whole office. 
Man, let that drink. That's a fly. sick Mario. You about to clear that motherfucker out? What? <laughs> Y'all are sick. You think if he yeah. fart, he do that? Oh, 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 oh. That's how. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, oh like, my coffee, god! Coffee's disgusting. I'm seeing chat say that now. The coffee, you got to get the right thing, bro. I, I tried like five out, different, but... ty- five different types. It just, I can't get it to taste good. Brown sugar, oat milk shake. I don't want to spend too much time on uh, Blandrew's bowels. Um, respectfully, put them on I'm... camera. My yeah. thing is, why do you have to send that at like five in the morning, dude? Yeah. I was not ready for. <laughs> I that. woke That's up the first to that. Thing I, saw. I didn't even, I didn't even see the message y'all talking about. <laughs> oh, just so BG had a chance to potentially you know, replace me with somebody and I'm glad it would be jazzy. But... Imagine if a fart took you out, bro. Like, what are you yeah, talking about? you was like, gonna be done for, what's that, nine hours ago, my nigga? Like, that, that was, was the Mason type shit. Yeah, like... Bro, I had to hold it for like three hours. <laughs> you, you think you just, just go to the thing? bathroom and take a shit? I told you. Nine hours ago, jeez. It wasn't, it wasn't coming <laughs> hey, out when I wanted it to. <laughs> you need some gas X or something, dog, or laxative or something, bro. Uh, Imagine uh, that nigga anyway. party and his forehead just go like this. Oh, God. Nigga, head expand. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, listen. Anybody played that? Uh, I, I know the answer is no. I don't even know why I asked y'all. Anybody played that Pacific Drive game though? Oh uh, yeah. Oh. No, 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 my <laughs> See, Pacific Drive. Fuck, fuck out here, nigga. Hey, it's we it's all that... we all know everybody's playing next, and it ain't yeah. on Xbox. It's it's uh it's the Pacific Drive. That that's that horror survival well, driving person. game. I think. Yeah. yeah. First person game. Yeah, so the game Sony fanboys yeah, are pretending on, to like because of the Metacritic. It's, it's on, on everything. Oh. No, it's on PlayStation PC. Yeah, I don't think any. I didn't see anybody hyping this unless I missed I it. Sumo, Sumo playing it. You know, Sumo on Twitter, he playing it. I think it got like a seventy-five on Metacritic, didn't it? I don't think it was like. I thought it was at like a high eighties or something when it first see. started coming out. Let me check. Uh, this is a console exclusive for PlayStation, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? I thought it was on everything. Uh, Cons- no. It's, I know it's on PC, so maybe it's PC, PS5. It's a 78 on Metacritic. Um, yeah, respectfully, I don't want to play as a, I don't want to play as a car. <laughs> it's like, any, I'm, I'm good, bro. Any first person, I'm... Wait, I'm, how do they make I'm a horror game out, out of a car it's, game? It's like a survival. You got to work on your car and fix it up, and then I don't know what you... Uh, oh, no, nope, nope. It's like, out of my lane, bro. Is it like days gone when you have to fix your motorcycle and shit? I don't know. I think it's a little bit more in depth. Well, BG probably not gonna play because one, that nigga can't drive. Two, that nigga can't swim. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that narrative. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, 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 I, listen, I be thinking like some some of these concepts as gaming gets older, it's gonna be hard to come up with new original concepts. So I think sometimes they come up with these ideas that are new. But let's be real, nobody wants to. Nobody wants to play that. You well, know. look, you, it's like you said before, you don't need to pick anything original. You just need to do something good. There's yeah. nothing fucking original about Helldivers. No, there's not. It's just very fun. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. There's it's... nothing original about fucking Mario Brothers. Mm-mm. Not that, there's nothing original about like, and I'm not saying Nintendo's games aren't innovative, but after like 30 years of making them, there's nothing original about them. Yeah, um, like I said, man, I, I don't think you need to recreate the, the wheel, just perfect it, you know, that's it. Originally, you know, original, originality is a little bit overrated, as I keep saying. So, okay, nobody played Pacific Drive, another game that uh, nobody on the podcast has played. It? And we, uh, I hope it's not a full $70. I'll I check would. right now. I, I, ain't even, I was on a PlayStation. I thought it was like an indie game, game or something. <clears throat> no, oh, it's see, it's man. it's probably on the double A level, oh. maybe. How much? Let me thirty dollars. Oh, it's thirty. Oh, okay. Hey, oh. on here on Weapon Wheel, we only play the best games. Except how about Sword. how about this BG? Sit, have them send us a review code. How about that? Then yeah. we'll play it. All right, uh, chat. Let us know if you played it, um, and what your thoughts are. All right. Um. Did anybody look at that Borderlands movie trailer? I know y'all some some of y'all some Borderlands haters oh. like Jack, but I think yeah, I saw, I saw like let's, let's go to the movie guy first. Thoughts? I didn't I didn't know they put the full trailer. I just saw the little the little uh, sneak peek with what, Kevin Hart. What are you good for on the uh, turret gun? Um, I watched it. I don't want to see turret. You watched it? Yeah. Can you pull yeah. it up on the screen? No. Um, you trying to get me a copyright match? It's it, bro. It, it's literally uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's when you watch that trailer, it's like, bro, is this is this Guardians? That's exactly what it feels like. A Guardians trailer. 
Um, and I'm a Borderlands fan. Um, I can't say I'm going to want to see this. I'll probably wait till it come out TV streaming. But theater? Nah. Nah. Um, Anything with Kevin Hart, I do not want to see ever again. And, and they be Why doing is that it. out of curiosity? Uh, he just released a movie called Lift on Netflix, and it was one of the worst movies I've seen in the past six years. I have been meaning to watch that particular movie. If you, I think we talked about this in After Dark. He spent the first 15 minutes smirking at the camera. <laughs> I mean, and, him and The Rock just play themselves, so it is getting kind of annoying. Yeah, and it, it's like, bro, they've they, they also been working on this movie a, a long time, so they casted him as Roland, which is a terrible casting. Um, because that's okay, cool. This is your interpretation yeah. of the character, but he was nothing like that um, in, in, in the game. Hold Roland on, would Roland. be a, uh, now. Are they are they actual people that they're playing? Or are they like avatars of their game characters, like in Jumanji? No, these are act- the actual characters. Oh, God. So, as far as my understanding goes. So they made him Roland because he's black? <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> I, I mean, Borderland, Borderlands is played out now, so like they had their chance. They yeah. should have made him Salvador because he was like a tiny midget gun zerker. Yeah. And, you know, they, pro- they did his casting at the time when, you know, Kevin, Kevin Hart is still like this, this I, I guess, Hollywood beloved kind of actor where they just love to cast him in things, even though it's not necessarily because it's fit or necessarily that he's a great actor. It's just that he's just that type of guy that they, I think they, they feel people attract to. Um, I think Jack so basically, it's like one of those butts in the seat casters. Jack. Yeah, literally. He's, KFC he's a, slider. He's a hot commodity. He's a hot commodity, bro. Like so. Yeah. I'm. I'm not gonna go to theaters to see this. Come on, man. AFC sliders. Yeah. Speaking of like fast food, Jones. I heard they charge him for the cheddar biscuits now. You know that's all his new name in the Discord. Who shit ass anyway? Well, maybe in Memphis they are. They ain't ass up here. Shit's nasty, bro. I don't like them. Mm. Hey, um, I guess to get off the Borderlands topic, uh, Kevin Hart being in anything makes me not want to watch it. But I mean, did, how long is the trailer? I'll watch it right now. It's like two and a half minutes or something like that. Damn, I got a place to be. Uh, I mean, the characters look off outside of Kevin Hart being a midget, you know, um, or a little person. I don't know what's, what's offensive these days. Either way, um, the char- I would say the characters look kind of authentic. Kate, was it Kate Blanchett? She plays Lilith, Lilith but I feel like she kind of looks too old. That's ageist, I guess. Or ageism. Oh, with the, yeah. yeah, with the red hair. Mm, yeah, she looked old. Hey, I'm but like, the yeah. graphics don't look bad, though. No. It's real people, Alex. I'm talking about... <laughs> Well, have you, the vault nigga, the CGI for the claptrap and shit. Don't you like don't you hate when the big nigga is is trying to be a smart ass? Don't you hate it? Oh yeah, Jack Black as cl- claptrap. Claptrap. Yeah, I love Jack Black. The, the wise I'm cracking gonna, guy. They always they like to get Jack. I, Black for okay, that. I got a question for y'all. Would you did the Uncharted movie make you want to put more faith in the movie game? Uh, movies with video about video games? No, no. Not nothing did. You, the Not only thing the, that, sure? the only thing that gave me hope was the first two episodes of The Last of Us. Once the zombie started making out with the chick, it was a wrap. <laughs> oh yeah, that that was stupid. Yeah. Okay. Um Project L, that two v two uh tag first fighting of all, game. Before you even continue, why would you call a game Project L? That's what that's what people gonna be handing out, I guess. I don't know, um, but they've renamed. You know, that was just the project name. The official name for it is now Two X W, Two X K O. So, yeah, and this is by Riot Games. Um, I think it is. You what know, does it stand for? Two X K O. It's it's a two v two yeah, fighting game. Like so Two X K O knockout. I guess that's that's how they came yeah. up with the title. As- because originally uh, it was okay. gonna be like a one v one fighter, mm-hmm. but then they added a two v two, so it's that's why they changed the name, I guess. Yeah. But it's really just like more so like a project L stands for Project League, pretty much. So that's why I, what's her name from League of Legends is there. What's her name? Jinx. Like she's gonna probably gonna be one of the characters. So I think it'll shape up to be good because they send out like um, what was it? Like a sign up sheet for people like to play it to like sign up or whatnot. And they ask questions like, "What other fighting games were you interested in?" Yeah, but uh, 
fighting game community seems to be kind of excited about it. Seem they seem pretty interested. So see how that turns yeah. out. The characters look unique, but yeah. Um, some more details. You ever played League BG. It's one of the most boring games I've ever played in my entire life. I've I've played it twice. Yeah. What game? League of Legends. League of Legends. When it was hot, I played it um, a little bit. Wasn't my thing. Yeah. Um, some more Rise of Ronin details. Um, it's going to have four-player online co-op. I didn't expect that from this game. That's uh, it. Yes, like it's is like Wolong. Wolong had on four-player online co-op, though? I don't know if it had four-player, but you could play. I think it was up to like at least two to three. Two? I think it might have been two, probably. Yeah. Um, so that's, I mean, that's pretty cool. I just didn't expect that from, from the game, but I'm not very excited for rise of Ronin. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, doesn't really are move me. Are you taking next week off for final fantasy seven? Yes. Yep. Uh, one, one of those, one of those days, I don't know when I might exactly. take, I might take four days off. Though I was traveling everywhere last year. It's been a minute since I traveled. I have so much fucking vacation time. Yeah. I'm about wait, to go wait, to the wait, fucking wait, moon. You guys, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You guys about to take time off work for Final Fantasy? Yeah. I take, I take time off work for almost every game release. Uh, I don't know about that. that is Ma- major childish. game release. Hell, oh, oh, you were so I know you're not talking smooth. Dick for a decade. You're talking about childish. <laughs> Fuck out of hold here. Hold on. I know what this is about. I know what this Yo, is about. Boy. Hold on. I know what this is about. Smooth. If you jealous that you don't got no PTO and we do, just say that, bro. Say that. I got 145 hours. I wasted no, on a Final Fantasy. He he don't got games worth staying home for. That's mm. his name. Oh. Yeah, go fix your bowels, bro. Like you sitting there holding their farts for for freaking line work. I don't imagine how much fart you hold in for like a Zelda playthrough. I don't know. Like, but like line damn. work. Just I, I just let it fly during game time, but. <laughs> He said you on assembly line. They go hold your bows. Smooth. You not taking time off for games? What's wrong? With no, you? Hard, Hardhead tried nah. to do that in the Discord too. He was shaming people for taking off just to stay home and not. That's because he wanna... plays the most nut ass trash games. <laughs> AEW fight forever. You're a hater. You don't like it. Foam stars. Yeah, nah, shut he said, up. Now nah, he said hey, we have to actually go on vacation phone, and use vacation time. I'm like, yo, maybe you just want to ch- chill at home. It's not. Yeah. There's so and, many hype beasts in that fucking Discord. And, and then when actual good games come out, they like try to undermine them to be the cool kids that don't like popular shit. If if you have a hundred PTO hours, something's wrong, bro. You need to use that. What, what why am I gonna why am I what's the point of getting PTO if I'm not gonna use it? I'm not gonna let it sit there for maybe, what maybe reserve. Roll, maybe roll over. Do a roll over. You can Some only of it take does. so much. Yeah, yeah. I get the roller, I think, up to like like forty hours, but um, oh yeah, you got you got to use some of them, bro. That, but that's Take what I'm saying. I'm, 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 I'm holding out to be allowed to, uh, us to sell them. Like I want to be able to like pay me. Oh, the, I'm, I'm, you, you can sell. You can sell your you can sell you cash, yeah. cash, 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 cash out, cash out, cash out, cash out. Why would when you, you want to cash out? Why would you want to cash out PTO when you go on vacation and be paid for it? Don't you get paid anyway for PTO? Thank so you, you might as well just take it and stay yes. home, or or go somewhere. Yeah. Weren't, weren't you just I mean, saying how you were like mentally exhausted at being an Xbox fan? Like, like yeah, it could take some PTO. Yeah, you need to go to an island where Xbox doesn't exist. <laughs> and don't go to St. Thomas. <laughs> that's, any, that's, you... any, that's any island. <laughs> that's anywhere outside the US, right? You need joke coming. <laughs> you can go anywhere. That motherfucker, you good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I did listen. <laughs> I I be using my PTO left and left Thanks. and right. Un- unless I know I have I just do the math because like my calendar depending on what like interface they use it tells you okay mm-hmm. i can check in june how much i'm I'm gonna have if i use this now so i can always make mm-hmm. sure i have enough for vacation or something like that but yeah i'll be some uh, one or two days depending on the game for final fantasy i'll probably do one i want to do two but i'm i'm, I'm gonna do so one. smooth it's no game like it don't even got to be a game that exists right now there's no game you could think of to be like damn if they came out with that bro i'm taking off like nah no, nah, the last nah. It's it just at this point, it's like there's no so like Blanche said. I there ain't no games to do that. It doesn't. It, yeah, it doesn't have to. Like there has. I think the last time I did something like that. I'm trying to think. Did I even do that for? Uh, no, I, I haven't taken not even I, E3 or anything like that. We all took time off. No, 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 no. You used took to do time E3. off for E3. You need to get your head examined. No, no. All right, so E3, yeah, there was, yeah. 
like unless took, you like, were going to E3, no, I right, just I to chill E3, at home and yeah, watch yeah, it with I, friends. I stopped doing that after I want to say in like twenty seven. When like the thing is, I think when Xbox started going on Sundays, I had no reason to um no, to take yeah. off. So now that they go on Sundays, it's just whatever. But like, I think the last time I took off like an E three one is when I think Xbox went on like a Monday or something like that. Um, but the last game I actually took off, I think was like Halo Five Guardians because I did like an all nighter with Attic and we played through the entire campaign. That was the twenty fifteen. Where was that? 2015, 2015. Yeah, last, last time Xbox Man. was um and I listen I'm re- mostly remote I only go in on on Wednesdays so yes even the days where I'm remote I'm taking the day off because I don't want nobody pinging me I don't want no messages I don't want to oh. I don't want to have to check nothing so I still take a day off even though I'm remote yeah I take days off for like games and Nintendo directs conferences all Nigga took a, yeah you <laughs> take if you take a day off for a conference man you need to be smacked it's a self care day, Bond. He want to yeah. get some takeout and listen. Oh, I'll, switch I'll, reveal. I'll, I'm taking it off. It's gonna be a fun day. Oh, oh yeah, man. switch too, man. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, most of us men who you know enjoy you know work hard and and enjoy life, we we taking we using PTO to play games, man. That screw that job. It's about me. It's about our well being. Yeah. Use that PTO smooth. Hey, uh, where was I? Oh, um, since Bond brought it up, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. They updated the demo um, at, to add the Junon section, and you could play with the main cast because, uh, you know, last part you only played with, uh, uh, well, you, you played with somebody in Sephiroth. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but I know Bond is going to say something. Uh, the, I played a little bit of this demo, like maybe 15, 15, 20 minutes. I don't need to play more than that. Like, listen, the game is about to come out. It's fire. Um, the only thing I will say, and I, I think Digital Foundry has been talking about, has shown a little bit about this. I haven't watched one of their videos in a long time. Is just how the texture in the world looks when you're in performance mode for Rebirth. It looks, it, the image is soft. It's not sharp. It looks a little, it looks a little blurry. It's not, it's not the best. Um, they, I, I did, I do think they said there will be a patch that somewhat or slightly improves performance mode when the game comes out, but I don't think it's gonna like be life changing. But I'm, I'm a play in performance mode anyway, man. It is, it is what it is. Bring on the PS5 Pro. Bring on the Pro. Jeez. Bring up, bring on the Pro, bro. Because it looks, yeah, it, 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 it don't. Because there's sections of 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 uh, Final Fantasy VII remake where. You know, like I think people made videos on it, like the uh, like the sink that was mi- missing a texture, or if you look down at the other sec uh, sectors, it's literally just like a flat texture. So, either way, I'm playing on so performance the demo, mode. The demo part two is out now. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to be a a demon and play. Um, my bad. I'm not going to be a, a demon and play on resolution mode like like Jack. Jack, you're sick. Every time I. That gets brought up. I'm gonna let you know. You Alex, the living room on. Well, what what I do? You play on resolution yeah. mode, and I can't get over it, dog. You're sick. You're hey, something's man. wrong with you. <laughs> hey, um, resolution pro- mode game, stand up. That's stand probably up. why you depressed with your gaming depression. I'm talking about. I would be more depressed playing at 1080p. <laughs> oh shit. I heard that uh, 60 frames mode is rough, though. Is it? Is, is it oh, I'd, rather play, I'd rather play at 60 frames than 30 frames any day of the week. Yeah. Sorry. Mm, the 60 For, frames even make it just it look smooth, bro. Like, I'm, I'm not looking at textures. I'm looking at the animations and shit of my character moving around. But you see more of that animation fully in 60, though. And uh, in a high, my character- you know, high action game like Final Fantasy, you need that. My character doing this while I'm moving is is way worse than this, bro. Regardless of the texture, that shit is yeah. makes my eyes hurt. Looking at that shit, I can't believe this man played Spider Man and no, Jack. You you're not seeing you're not seeing you're not seeing heaven, bro. That game was not originally. It, it wasn't originally developed to be played at sixty. You I can don't tell care too. what it was originally you made for. Spider Man, re- I ain't speaking about Spider Man Two, but Spider Man Remastered. Um, it doesn't look. It looks awkward. No, I'm talking about the cutscenes. Look at the cutscenes at 60 frames. The shit don't look right. 
it wasn't designed to be seen like that. Is this one of those smooth thirties, Jack? I don't got a problem playing at thirty. I'm a, I'm a keep. I'm Spider Spider Man Spider Man is not a competitive game. You know, it doesn't require. That game has very uh, forgiving inputs. It doesn't require precise movement. No reason to play this. I'm gonna pray for you, Jack. Uh, I, I want you to. I want you to be loosened from these chains of thirty. I, I'm trying to think of the last game I played at thirty. Yeah. Um, because not that I would never do it. I would if I had no other choice. But if I have a choice, I'm never doing it. What was it? if the, the last... game ain't competitive or it's like really time? The last game I played at thirty might have been Ghost. <sighs> oh my god! I just remember that was the last Switch game you played. Oh, that's a good point. Um, no, um, uh, what's gonna call it was ran at sixty, right? Uh, Wonder Mario Wonder that was that ran at sixty. Yeah, I think. I'm talking about uh, yeah. what's it called? Kirby. Kur- Kirby Mario was RPG. thirty. I think Kirby was thirty. It was How about Mario yeah. RPG. Mario RPG. Uh, I guess Mario was... RPG. I want to say it was like unlocked. I remember it being like it don't. It didn't feel like thirty. Yeah, something. I don't think that was thirty. Kirby was probably yeah. Kirby it was, was definitely Kirby 30. was thirty. Locked thirty. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Like I said, when I don't got a choice. Jack, did you play Liza P at 30? Um, Liza P. Um, I might have played it at 60. I might have played it at 60, but I, I did it by accident. I tried to put on Fidelity mode. Uh, okay. I could play it. I, I, it don't bother me, bro. Dog, you already know what I'm about to say, Jack. That's 60 good, is playable, but not ideal. 33 frames per second, <laughs> not very playable. I put your mask on. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, this is not news, but it's now official uh, that the four games going to go in multiplat are Hi Fi Rush, Pentiment Grounded, and Sea of Thieves. You know, <sighs> just just a week and a half ago, this was like uh, this was like dropping a nuke on Twitter. Now it's just like, see, everybody's like, eh. Not a big deal no more, right? They 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 went from saying, "Oh God, no, I can't believe they're doing this." To <laughs> when they when they realized when they thought it was everything, that's when they didn't want anything. But now that it's only supposed to be four, they cool with that. You said Phil Spencer's a fucking genius, bro. He's a fucking genius because he's lying to you, and he still mm-hmm. is cool now. They fallen in line. Oh, the the as 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 uh, what you call it says the new orders came in <laughs> from from above. Shout out to Uni. You know, every time. You know the the, the diff, uh, You know a new narrative is needed. Oh, d- don't they just fall in line? All the Xbox heads. Bro, oh man, I can't, they fall in line. I can't stand it, bro. And this is the problem with that shit too, BG, bro. Like, I seen niggas on Twitter. was like, oh, you're trying to get a gotcha moment out on me. What do you mean a gotcha moment, fam? When they bought Activision and Bethesda, you was praying for exclusive games. You was bragging about exclusive games. Mm-hmm. Now that Ooh, they they put in. Now that they putting their games on everywhere, now that's where the industry's moving. We got to get used to it. I'm, I'm so, I'm so uh, sad. You were, uh, you know, you addicted to a plastic box. It's why not you sustainable. Feel, why you didn't feel like that last year? So now, like, come on, I, I can't. Stay. It's so disingenuous, bro. That wouldn't really be making people dislike these dudes. They be trying to act like they don't know why they getting all this random hate. It's not random, bro. You're not a genuine person. You saying you're saying what Phil Spencer and Sarah Bondham want you to say. Mm. As opposed to how you actually feel. That's why niggas don't yep. like you. That's, That's it. What are you talking about, Jack? That's it. Uh, Anybody that it's more than one person that do it, but it's quite a few. If you do that, you know who I'm talking to. There's a three headed dragon of indiv- individuals that I could say their names, but you know, I'm 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 trying to be mature this this Sunday. Um Are they bald? That- are they bald? One at least, at least one of the dragons. That, that three headed dragon, that three headed drag, that three headed chill dragon. Yeah, they um, they, they blue eyes, crazy. white dragon. They are man. They they're bad. And uh, so uh, let me just transition and um, bring up this tweet because I, I saw Jack. You were arguing with somebody about this, and he he was being you know intentionally dense. And maybe this tweet is not such a big deal, right? Y'all let us know. Um, Xbox tweeted out, and this is something they've tweeted out. St- they tweeted out similar things before. They said it's perfectly okay to start a game, enjoy that game, and never actually finish said game. The fuck? Um, These niggas go out to dinner, take a bite, and leave? Didn't they do a tweet like that, similar to that, like last very, year or last two years ago? Mm-hmm. They did two 
tweets within this vein. I can't. They, they just kept on telling gamers it's okay to do all these things. That's it's that that is not okay. Another one was I think it's it's okay backlog. to yeah it's okay to never get to your backlog. It's okay to play on the easiest easiest difficulty. Uh, like yeah, I mean I don't have a problem with that though. That's like you know what I mean. The the problem is what? is all of these things they say. Like in the grand scheme of things, it's not a big deal, but I think it contributes to people not respecting the platform. And like, it's almost like they're coddling or creating an, uh, an, uh, a place for their gamers to be casual. It's, it's, like they're, it's, it's like they're talking to a baby. It's okay. You don't finish your games. It's okay. It's okay. You don't, oh, you can only play on easy. Oh, it's okay. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like a, like a parent talking to a, a child who can't do anything. So you feel like you got to like, um infantilize Bro, them that's what it, that's what it sounds like this and people don't understand what i was trying to say like it devalues even if you don't feel this way it literally devalues your platform xbox is actively they're actively not promoting you buying any games they're promoting game pass they don't want you yeah. buying and owning any games they don't want you beating yeah. they don't care mm -hmm. they're 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 promoting and incentivizing not beating games therefore they're incentivizing not playing games I don't see how you don't see this. And people are saying, well, these companies don't care if you buy if you beat the games like you buy That's them or not. Cap. Of course they But this is yeah. the thing though, BG. Even if they don't care if you beat them, they're not actively going out and saying, don't play and beat yeah. the game. That's Did, that's counterproductive. McDon McDonald's yeah. don't go and say, hey, come in and try a new Big Mac. Matter of fact, don't even eat the motherfucker, but just buy it. Like, who does? How do you? That's not good promotion, bro. Like, because even though they absolutely, what they care most about if, is if you buy the game. But they look at telemetry and they make decisions because we've seen this. They make decisions based on okay, how many people beat the game? How many people got this trophy? How many players got this far? They can see the telemetry and where and if people were struggling in a certain area. Developers look at all that stuff. So if you don't think this stuff like has consequences. Y'all y'all are seeing the consequences on Xbox of all the things y'all said didn't matter. Console sales right don't now. console yep. sales don't matter. Um software sales don't don't matter. Uh everything that's the problem. Xbox has come, become the platform where nothing matters. Beating your games doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It's just a free for all. Do whatever you want. There's no consequences, but there are. Th like there are they look at what X, how things happen on Xbox, not beating games, not buying games. And that's how y'all get to where y'all all y'all are now. Like there's consequences to that, man. There's results exactly. that come from that. Y'all can't all just right, act like nothing happens. For not beating a game. I don't, I don't understand or like that. I don't understand what the, the issue is there. Though. I, I, I would say it's similar to um, almost not buying the game. If, if a developer looks at, looks at, uh, stats, I'll explain telemetry. It, I'll, and, I'll explain it. I'll and, explain this simply. I'll yeah, explain this for smooth, right? You go to a restaurant and people are only finishing a quarter or a half to play and aren't finishing the meal. What's the problem? They don't, you would think they, they don't think, like it or exactly. something's wrong with they it. Don't, yeah, they're, they're not finishing the whole meal. What's the problem? They're wasting, wasting food. food. And we live in fat ass America too, by the way. If they ain't cleaning their plates, what's the problem? Food's no good. Exactly. You're, that's what you're telling the developer. That I, and I know, you like, you developing your, you developing your, your. your uh, that's what nah, I'm saying. Nah, 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 Because if I'm, if I'm, if I'm a developer, right, and my game sells ten million, but only thirty percent of the people beat it, you really think I'm going? Oh, I can't so, make another one now because only thirty no, percent of the people beat it. But that's the problem, though. On Xbox, your game ain't selling ten million. Matter of fact, go. on Xbox, ain't nobody buying the fucking game. So they're, like I said, they're actively promoting you not buying the game on top of you not beating the game. Therefore, why should I play the game? Nobody, You're telling bu me that nobody buying or beating. Yeah. You insinuate. Oh, you, insinu you insinuating that Game Pass is filled, filled with bullshit. That's what you insinuating no. in so many words. Go ahead. J Jack is right because you're insinuating that if this is a buffet, you can try everything but not beat anything. Then yes, if nothing. If that's the case, nothing is worth buying. Nothing is worth completing. Yeah. And that uh, that ten million only works if you only want to make one game. If thirty percent niggas beat it, why would we want to go buy your next game? If I didn't, yeah. if I wouldn't inclined to beat the first one. Yeah, it's, mm, it, it, it's all right, or, or, it, nah, nope, no. So what's the, the percentages like on like Witcher Two and stuff like that? Like I don't like like I don't think that's a a good metric or a fair metric to use. Is I think it's just a mute point to be upset about. It's not a it's not a point by itself. Nobody's gonna look at oh how many people beat the game by itself. 
But with Xbox, if like like they said, if you see, okay, they're not buying our games. They're not beating, they're not our, beating games. our games. They have no console sales. They have right. no hardware sales. This platform just seems to be people that aren't really invested in gaming. They're, yep. they're, they're looking at that, the, the reputation and the image of Xbox. They're, they're looking at that and making decisions based on that. They absolutely are. So it's you can't take it. You can't take stuff like that lightly. I, and these tweets, like I said, these tweets just by themselves are not so bad. But like combined with everything and all the decisions Xbox has been making. Yeah, I, I think they are damaging their, their brand reputation and, and their image. That's why nobody like people have a hard time taking Xbox serious. Like, look, look at the stuff they say, whether it's Phil Spencer or, and, and them talking too much. This tweet from some intern just saying stupid things like nobody's taken like, like Xbox is already not taken serious in like pop culture. PlayStation is, is the go to. So it's like they're embracing this. Oh, we're this casual third party platform, um, you know, that, that no hardcore or like person that like is really invested in gaming. Why would you come here? It, I don't see I don't see any reason to go there. You know, it's what, what do I know? I, I just think they're hurting their brand doing just like saying shit like that. We already know they're hurting. They've literally done everything possible to hurt their brand and their fanboys have done everything possible to hurt their brand. If somebody were to tell you that somebody was in charge of sa um, sabotaging Xbox. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, I mean, they, they've done everything wrong for the last since 2015, Xbox hasn't done one thing right. I mean, but, Game Pass slogan went from find your new favorite game to, hey, don't you ain't got to play none of these motherfuckers for real. <laughs> like, yeah. we, we don't give a fuck, nigga. Yeah. Like, like, go like, ahead. Like, Jack, even with PlayStation removing um, difficulty trophies and, like, a lot of the industry is doing that, they looked at something, some type of data, and came to that decision. Hey, it the would data be was a lot of dudes suck at video games. That's what uh, the uh, data was. Exactly. But, like, so they made the decision based yeah, on something. True. People yeah. weren't getting the trophies. They they could see because they get all the things that happen in the game. Like while we're playing it, they get that data. How many times you died? How much? I, how much time you spent on one part? They can see all that. I look at these Xbox tweets as just good sportsman tweets. It's not like uh, it's uh like, oh, this is what we're gonna we're gonna we're like we're gonna make games easier or like shorter because you guys aren't beating the game. They hopping too off. They hopping too far off the porch though. So let me ask you a question. You probably you probably mm -hmm. don't know. Is this like a a, a um, community manager? Is this like an intern? Who are who yeah. are approving and sending yeah, out? Yeah, these yeah. I know. Like, I know the person that runs the Xbox account. I really? Did, yeah, yeah. So I don't. Do they? Do I, they, I don't do know him personally to the point where he's like my, a friend of mine. But it, it's it's hold like on, someone smooth, like I got questions. It's someone you, that is. You, it's have you seen like a picture of them? Yeah, yeah. Are they bald? Why the silence? They always wear a hat. <laughs> Why the silence? They might, they might be. <laughs> I don't know. They always wear a hat. So I, I, I would actually that have to bold. <laughs> they start to make sense. Start to make sense. Man. I keep trying to tell y'all. Yeah. Um, and there was another one. I, I can't remember. There was a fiasco with the Xbox ambassador program. Then, yeah, mm -hmm. wasn't it that they said, oh, yeah, with oh girl. you don't have to play games to be an Xbox ambassador? Didn't they say that? Yep. Yeah, because yeah, that, I think that was, uh, like, Quake 2 or something like that, she only got 10 minutes, and everybody called her out on it. That's, see, this is all the things that like just taint the Xbox brand and make things worse. You don't have to play games to be an Xbox ambassador? Huh? It just looks stupid. It looks stupid. It's bro. so dumb. It's literally See, just like this. This Xbox, so Xbox niggas ain't got no problem with this. Let the next PS Plus lineup get come out on Twitter, and then they tweet out behind it. You know, you don't really got to play or beat any of these. It's cool. You know what I mean? We act. We actively don't think you should play. Niggas, Xbox niggas, I understand. Then they don't understand what we talking about. They understand. Then you'll see. It's it's an attempt to to Look, kiss up. Microsoft man. and Xbox has done everything possible to try to change the narrative it's not working the only narrative in gaming is selling games and selling consoles everything else is irrelevant don't believe me nintendo has shitty online and graphics mm. <laughs> well um yeah i don't this this is their strategy um just make people feel good and want to welcome people with open arms and kumbaya and we won't judge you 
over here on this platform. If you don't play games, hey, I, oh, I, I salute smooth. you. How are you happy with this? You know what this sounds like? This sounds like Xbox is the Biden console. No, uh, please don't remind me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it that sounds Biden. like the Biden <laughs> console. You all want all the elite, the broke ass illegals crossing the border. Here's your food stamps. Yep. Here's your shit. Here's your free shit. Come on over. It's all good. Falling yep. at every point possible in life. Yep. Yeah, that, that's good. Yep. Falling. <laughs> uh, I, I, I am calling Xbox the Biden console. Are they? No, the no child left behind console. No, yep. And not only that, oh, but um. Man. What's I about to say? Not Would only that move, but you know, the people that are running Xbox, they be acting slow as fuck like Biden too. They got yeah, Alzheimer's it's, 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 it's a liberal management system over there. Yeah, okay. the Biden console. Would it also be a little bit of communism because they want everything everywhere and they want equality. Everybody gets the same no, thing. So, they want socialism. Okay, right. That would be socialism. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that that's the PC. <laughs> That's Blanche ain't wrong. Mm. Shout out to Xbox. Love them. Love them to death. Great brand. Um, it might be love to death. No, my man. Yeah, it ain't too far off. Is it? Shit. Yeah. They just don't care no more, man. That's all it yeah. is. Bro. Yeah. It's cool. Eh. It's cool. Uh, yeah. Instead of hold the line, now it's fall in line. Mm. Mm. Mm, I like indeed. that. I like that. Um, PlayStation Portal has been hacked to run PSP games offline. Ooh, I yeah. saw that's ridiculous, bro. That's why PlayStation stopped supporting a lot of this stuff because they keep getting hacked. Why is crazy? Must be dragging it, dragging itself across your desk. Pardon? My cat. What? You were talking about it. Like, see, if he was white, he would just grab the shit and throw it over his head. Yeah. Doesn't like GTA on it. Um, the yeah, they was, was playing like, GTA 3, GTA three. If you got a portal, you could play GTA three natively. Like, well, not well out. from the cloud. They found out that uh, it's like, what, six gigabytes of internal memory on here? Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't really be able to do too much, but... Um, is it... Uh, because, I don't know. I, is, it, is it really bad, like, and a real detriment when these things get hacked? I, I yes. really don't be knowing. Yes. Okay. The, the Vita, well, one of the reasons PSP sold so many is because it got hacked. But because it got hacked, they couldn't have trophies on there, which they did want to implement trophies. Um, and when the Vita came out, that's the main reason the Vita had a proprietary memory card was because it kept getting hacked. Wait, wait, wait. Which they ended up hacking it. Wait, PS. It got PSP never had trophies. No. Oh, so, okay, okay. Vita did. Okay. So, I got you, I got you. Yeah, they added trophies to the Vita, but okay. they added a proprietary memory card because the the PSP got hacked so much, uh -huh. and then it still got hacked on top of that. And plus, they charge. You know, we already know they charge crazy prices for it. So that fucked it up. They stopped supporting it. Now, so every time something get, it's not, it's not a positive thing. So man. it's it's, really it's not. the the good part is more people buy it because they want to do hack stuff. But then they stop supporting it, and it also pretty leads much. to lo loss of sale, loss of software sales pretty, too. Pretty much, okay. yeah. yeah cool. I mean, the dream, the Dreamcast up. died because of hacking, didn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, the Dreamcast died because. Well, one, it didn't sell, but two, you know, Sega had the 32X, Sega had the Saturn. No, yeah, they were oversaturated the they, well, yeah. they just couldn't commit to anything. But you could burn a shit on, like, a CD and, like, steal oh, yeah. all their games. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Hey, Jack, who's the studio that makes Days Gone? Uh, ben, ben Studio. Wasn't one of those guys saying they had a, a siphon filter game on the PSP, but it got, like, hacked and people stole, like, millions of copies on it from the Pirate <laughs> Bay or something like that? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, man. Yeah, he like was talking the, to yeah. David Jaffe or something about piracy, and people were like, "It's not that big a deal." Like, dude, I lost millions on the mm -hmm. PSP because of that. That might be the main reason. I know Sony just rumored they want to get into the handheld space again, bro. But that might be the main reason they don't do it, bro, because they always getting hacked, bro. Even when they try, like that shit constantly getting hacked. Even like some it's of the biggest. Does the, switch, does the switch get hacked? Yeah. Oh, of course. What? What they keep going for? Why don't they just? I mean, but they they actively go after niggas. They they find a hack and they shit. PlayStation don't give a fuck. But did you guys hear the update from the guy that Nintendo took to court for like a crazy amount of millions? No, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find the find the. Uh, Tell me he got sentenced to life. I thought he was gonna say death. <laughs> I was about to say, come on, Bond. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. That'd be that'd be funny. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Imagine It'd getting a like, lethal injection because you stole from bro. Nintendo. You seen a dude, I think he was in Korea, <laughs> then, then nigga powered a squid games. They they killed that dude, bro. <laughs> Get him in the chair. Wait, he 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 powered a squid games. I think he was in some part of Korea. They sentenced that man to death behind there, bro. 
Really? Yeah, yeah. And one dude, why, one dude that watched it, they sent him, sent him like 15 years of hard labor in a, in a prison or some shit. So like because that. he watched an episode off that nigga crack. But man. you know, they real, they real strict though. There's certain shit you can't watch. You can't even indulge in it. Like they, they kill your silly ass. Like, mm. They ain't playing that, that shit, bro. Yeah, that's why they still uh, BG, you know how we used to have what, is somebody like uh, getting hacked? Like what's that static? I don't hear it. Oh, I know you're talking about. All right. What I was going to say, what I was going to say though is. You know how we had like the Last of Us watch parties? How come we don't have like Halo watch parties? Uh, because n- I'm against the name. Say it's move. Nobody's. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the people in this. It, there's no Halo fans. Only outside of you, Bond, and and me. Mm. You didn't even watch the first one. Why y'all didn't host a watch party? People to pull it up. Hey Jack, I, I found the article. It's called "Hacker Gary Bowser Discusses Post Jail Life and Chipping Away at Nintendo's 14 Million. <laughs> he owned a 14 on. L. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. He I'll said when I can. He says, and I quote: "I was sleeping in my bed. It was four in the morning. I'd been drinking all night, and suddenly I wake up and see three people surrounding my bed with rifles aimed at my head. Oh, hell, <laughs> aimed at my hell. head." They dragged me out the place, put me in the back of a pickup truck, and drove me to the Interpol office. They put me in the paddy Nintendo- wagon? <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Gary Bowser. I was Damn. paying Nintendo $25 a month. I'll pay them what I can, which won't be very much money, that's for sure. <laughs> you should have just bought the games, man. That look yeah. at it. <laughs> Shit. Hey, you th- I-, I think that's extremely harsh. No, like, that's what he, like, he should. He should. He shouldn't have did it. They told. As a matter of fact, didn't they tell him not to? And he was like, "You ain't got no legal footing." Type mm-hmm. shit. Well, Bless Red and them yeah. Discord got, dudes got in his head bro. and told him to go ahead and do it. And so he should have. He should have fell back when they told him. He he could have stopped that. Because my know. thing is, yeah, from the the repercussions y'all telling me, these dudes are getting like hit with like like murder like type crimes, like the stuff like you would get for if you like murdered or armed robbery and stuff like that. And this is, we're talking about video games, Nintendo games. Like, there's got to be some sort of, like, statue or, or some sort of limitation to what type of punishment Nintendo get views it as armed stupid. robbery. You use your no, he, arm he, and you robbed us. He's stealing people, li- uh, you know, livelihood, man. Imagine a motherfucker came to your job and stole all your work, man. All your motion. You don't want something on a heist to move. You can't, you can't support that. Mm-hmm. I don't support it, but I just, like, I think the punishment is, My, like, bizarre. Nah, I would agree with you if that wasn't his first warning though. They gave this man warnings. Hey, fam, we see what you're doing. Fall back, or we gonna really we we gonna do that to you, right? And then you you want to get you want to be Billy Badass, talk your shit, mm-hmm. no legal footing, right? Well, <laughs> hold this fucking lifetime payment, my nigga. Like it's over with. <laughs> and you finna do time in jail for for you being stupid. You know what I mean? Fourteen hey, million. Most people don't even make a million in a lifetime. That's crazy, dude. Hey, yeah. well, hey, this one dollars a month payment ain't bad though. He got a way out. But like, how long you gonna pay that, dude? He gonna. Until he dies, his they, life. But Smooth, think about it, bro. He got a way out. It was the way out. <laughs> same when way. He when he died, he don't owe it no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the, the same way you could get out of NW Nation. In a box. <laughs> hey, in a box. Hey. <laughs> Once again, the choice is his. Hey, man, shit. Hey, Shout man. out to him, bro. Hey, you got to be six feet deep to get away from Nintendo. The only what, what did we say last time, Jack? Nintendo just makes them work at their theme park for pennies. <laughs> that's what he, that's what you on break right now. You better put that on. Put on that Mario outfit and get back to where. Uh, yes, sir. What? Fight back tears and shit. <laughs> Oh man, uh, you just see, you just see him jumping from a roof. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> he's got a I chain mean, on his leg. That shit I, I don't feel bad for him <laughs> because he was at least warned. Yeah. Hey man, he was warned. Yes, sir. Nintendo but has no legal they, footing. They can't get you, man. He passes right. Doesn't that debt like go on to the next of kin and stuff like that? I don't yeah, think that that no. it might. It might. Shit. That nigga ain't gonna be able to four kids. Sheesh. His life is over. Yeah. See, back in the day, Nintendo would have probably cut his dick off with a fucking samurai sword, <laughs> Yakuza style. <laughs> like, man, but... this nigga up there. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that'd be cool. Hey, salute to him. <laughs> Wish him the best. The best. Uh... It's just funny his last name, Bowser, too. Like, how yeah. fucking ironic is that, bro? God damn. <laughs> Waking up with they rifles pointed in your face. Oh, man. <laughs> you had to do a movie about that one, boy. Yeah. 
Look like the hunt dog shit. Yeah. Um, I didn't have any layoff announcements this uh ah, today. Come so on. What? that's that's you good, right? BG. You slipping, bro. I didn't see any yeah, layoffs this week. Night, BG. I know somebody got fired this week, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> Uh, I should have dig deeper. I'm like, damn, there's got to be a layoff somewhere here, man. I'm saying no. Yeah. Um, Sony testing PC support for PlayStation VR two. Yeah. Damn, Alex. Jack. Uh, you know what's crazy, Jazzy? About three or four months. Actually, it was four months ago. I tweeted out that um, I mean, you know, they're already putting their games on PC. Why not put PSVR two support on PC? And I was met with. <laughs> Believe it or not, Jazzy, I would say almost 100% negative comments, hateful comments <laughs> even. Uh, they attacked me. They lambasted me. They said, uh, well, you, well, we're glad you're not a fucking businessman. You clearly don't know how, how business works. Uh, you know. Meanwhile, tweeting from the fucking Whataburger free Wi-Fi, they telling me I ain't no fucking financial <laughs> expert. <laughs> but, but now look at them. Now, now PS, PS fucking VR2 has horrible fucking... And Shuhei tweeted out, you know, PS... VR is getting PC support. I said, well, good brother Uncle Shu, when is PSVR 2 getting PS5 support? Where the goddamn games at, man? You, you, you get all this other rap for this other shit. Where the fucking games at, dude? Hey, Shu ain't crazy, the motherfucker, bro. Shout out to him. So the thing I was wondering, or go ahead, BG. No, I was going to say, they should just come out and be up front and say, PlayStation first parties will not be working on VR games. That's all, mo- mo- you know, third party multi is going to be Didn't they sign it. VR studios though? Didn't they didn't acquire VR specific no. studios? They, they, they do got they no, they do got um what was the that? One that made Horizon. Yeah, Fire, 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 Fire Sprite. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. one thing I'm wondering technically, I guess, but that's one. I'm wondering are they going to do a cuz the people that were speculating on the internet think that it's going to be a streaming of VR game or some type of um proprietary hardware hookup to the pc to the psvr2 as bg as you know is just a type c whatever the fuck and i'm not mm-hmm. familiar with pc is that common for y'all to just have a type c could don't you ever have to have a specific graphics card or some shit i have one i got one on my case too so there a lot of people are thinking that they mean like a type of where you streaming it <laughs> to your pc through a through a playstation app or some shit like that but all in all as a sony game i think this is good more PC games <laughs> our way always good. I'm not yeah. mad at it. Um, it's, it's not losing anything. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not mad. I think it'll be good for it. You know, um, I, I'm pretty sure the sales aren't necessarily through the roof or anything. Fucking, getting fucking murdered by the quest and all that other shit. Yeah, bad. Like, yeah. I mean, but that's the thing, bro. They even people that have quests and shit like that. Those aren't really you could play games on them, but they're really mainly used for their pass throughs and their multitasking and shit like that. It, for people that use them for gaming, they always come back and say PSVR 2's headset is still the premier one of the premier headsets to play games on. Who said that? You know what I'm saying? Huh? No, I think it, games might look better on the PSVR. They 2, look better on the PSVR too. The only thing that you could say with MetaQuest 3 is if you the, like the pancake yeah. lenses more, or if you like the fact that there's no wires. But it's, easy, power, it's a ease, ease of use with the Meta. Yeah. But PSVR yeah, 2 is very a super powerful headset, and two, it has rumble, um, and just the technology they have with it. It's just at the top of the line yeah. right now. And and I absolutely understand, like you know, the conversation about. PlayStation supporting it because you made the device, you should support it. They're not though, and they're not going to because they're relying on you know uh, the third parties to do that. See, um, so that's, but that's the same. That's, that's the same thing is. that killed. That's the same thing that killed something like a Vita. The Vita, PlayStation, yep. PlayStation first party abandoned it early on. Uh, they was reaching out to devs and saying, you know, we'll make. You know, they made Borderlands. I think PlayStation. Uh, you know, they got the assets to the Borderlands Vita game and just made it themselves and got somebody to make it. And that shit was ass. Like, bro. How many times are we gonna go through this with PlayStation, bro? They they gotta stop doing this. And I don't understand. This is why I'm glad I didn't purchase the VR. But if you purchase the VR, I don't see how you're not a, upset with PlayStation putting a first party game. What was the first? I heard what is it? Only Horizon. Only, only uh, Horizon is it? Yeah, Call of the Mountain. Yeah. Uh, how long? Because here's what they should how long do. Is it about? Uh, That's it's crazy. been almost a year, right? It's over a year or something like that. Because here's what they should do, right? I don't think PlayStation first parties should be making VR games, but I think they should absolutely be licensing out their IP to these VR studios and be like, hey, make a whatever game, whether it be God of War or Spider-Man. Not that I think those would be good VR games, but whatever would work. They should license, license out those IPs. 
Um, so you don't have the burden of first party studios doing that and they can you work just, on whatever they're they working should do on. Some, they should do something. Yeah, they should absolutely it's, it's, have their IPs translated to a VR game in some capacity. Don't just and, have them doing nothing. And what happened to the initiative? Well, I guess it was never an initiative. Why haven't they reached back and started porting some games that are only available on like, uh, for instance, Blood and Truth is only available on PSVR 1. It's not playable on PSVR 2. It's going to be stuck on that fucking a dead platform. Why not port that over and give people that never got a chance to play it? Hey, here's games that you didn't get a chance to play on the original PSVR. Now they're playable on both. Why aren't they doing that? <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't understand the reason. But once again, I'm not a businessman, right? They haven't done it yet? No, no, I asked the... Y'all familiar with the PSVR parole, nigga? A few weeks yeah. ago, I got hopped in the Discord, and I, I ask him every now and then, I'll be like, so when are we getting so-and-so? And he always just tells me that the developers, it's it costs money, whether it's a big or small, it costs money to do that. And he was like, Sony ain't trying to offset that cost. Yeah. So a lot of these smaller VR developers are saying, did we spend the time and manpower to bring an old game and try to again get it through Sony's rigorous approval program, even though they got shit like Jumpin' Taco they get through? Do we sit there and take the time and go through their process, or do we just spend our time making a new game? You yeah. see what I'm saying? So if Sony yeah. ain't go front that bill for them to be able to get their software on the new stuff, it's like yeah. I'm sorry, is Jumpin' Taco a real game? That's the second time yeah, I heard yeah, it. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, one yeah, of those yeah, bullshit uh, indie uh, games that you just, for easy platinum, that's all it is. Uh, oh, it is a platinum one? How much music, is this game? Is it like music a, to smooth it? No, it's kind of like <laughs> I Am Mayo, but just like a Jumping Taco and shit like that. Fire. All right. Those are the kind of indie mm-hmm. games that people think that Jack plays. <laughs> but it is. Yeah. yeah. Because, because PSVR 2 to be very clear, bro, there's there's some great PSVR 2 games. Like, and there's a good amount. Just none of them are from PlayStation. <laughs> That's the thing. None of them from PlayStation. So, because if you just go look in the PSVR section, because they literally just have a section on the store, and they list out all the PS, PSVR games and the, the best ones, the, people, the ones people want the most. Those are the good ones in, in the top. But you ain't gonna see I'll nothing from PlayStation. Though, oh, so. We just admit that the PSVR is not performing well. It's not going to do well. It's underperforming. Like it, it's a wrap. Come on, guys. Like I've been telling you all this from day one. <laughs> you are like, not wrong. Like, not like, wrong. Should, like, uh, what, what's the model here, Jack? Say it with me again. Say you're it, either, Jack. You're either right or you ain't bond. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> you just made like, me up on the spot. <laughs> Straight batting like near a thousand with everything in the, the Discord. Every <laughs> fucking <laughs> what, thing of BG's what, got what the fuck? Why are you just going to? T- <laughs> hey, this nigga <laughs> Chop just got back in the uh, BG house. <laughs> You like he like, went to a dream sequence. What the fuck would that be, G? Straight bat wow. near a thousand on everything I'll say just, happens uh, in gaming, oh, and people still in denial about it. Why you can't punch the camera? Bro. Bro. Bucket, wow. <laughs> Why does he have no signal on? Uh, it's good. It's all good. I gotta fix. It. Yeah, my cat went behind the monitor and literally just tackled the camera. So I'll fix See, it in a second. I don't have those fucking demon uh, animals. <laughs> freaking cat. On, on that note. We're going to take a word from our sponsors <laughs> and uh, we'll be back with uh, some some super chats. All right. Play the Manscaped ad. So we uh, well, not not that one right now. Hold on one second. We Jack. Right now you're watching Weapon World podcast and I'm sure you're having a fantastic time because we're very entertaining people. But let's take a minute to talk about something very serious and very important. Just like the developers in the industry who have very stressful jobs and they crunch and they may need therapy after everything they go through. You're a human too. You have your own life and things stress you out. So therapy is for everyone and you should take advantage of that. Do you believe it's too late to change habits that you formed when you were young? Let me tell you, it's not. A lot of you have been watching me for over 10 years and you've seen me mature and evolve over the years. Therapy helped me to unlearn bad habits I formed as a child and learn from negative influences around me. It helped me recognize these are not good traits and it's time to change for the better. No matter what your challenge is in life, therapy can help you adapt to and overcome it. That's why I'm happy to announce today's sponsor is BetterHelp. BetterHelp makes therapy a lot easier and much less intimidating. With over 30,000 licensed therapists, they match you with a professional tailored to your preference and your challenges. You can have sessions over the phone, video chat, or even through messaging. 
whatever works best for you. So join over 4 million people who have taken the next step towards a healthier, happier life with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash BGHDR to get started. Plus, clicking that link helps support this channel and gets you 10% off the first month of BetterHelp. Take that next step towards your change. It'll be worth it. A lot of you saw me in my early days on YouTube, angry, breaking stuff, wiling out, and you've seen I changed, so you can change too. Check out betterhelp.com. Link is in the description. Hey, bro, right. you know if you depress, you can talk to this. Oh, and ahead. we're back, and my camera's back on after my cat tackled it live. Freaking jerk. Uh, Where's the man, cat now? Uh, He's back there. You see, he's he's literally sitting back there by the he's, by the he's figures. He's sitting over some fried rice right now. They're cooking that nigga. Oh, he plotting on you. <laughs> he's he's sitting on some fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> that um, is horrible. Oh my god. Um, However, I am about to look into that better help, dude. I mean, you no know, Xbox it, this year got me all messed up in the head. See, but... see Jack. Didn't I just say that, Jack? Didn't I, I just I say that? The commercial right now. There. Th listen. Let's be real. There are a lot of people in this community that need therapy. L th no, this, that's, this, that's, that's that is true. That's a thousand percent that's true. Tough, yeah. Niggas letting their brothers fuck their girlfriends and all kinds of weirdo shit. Dudes talking crazy. To, dudes talking to Phil Spencer like they're like he's their daddy, and yeah, that's that's deep childhood trauma right there manifesting. So. Listen, go go People to bed. Putting on wigs and doing skits inside a GameStop, you know, it's, <laughs> it's getting out of control. <laughs> Facts, yeah, I can't man. believe this one is Drewski now, bro. That's crazy. So y'all y'all know what y'all need to do. Link in the description, betterhelp.com slash BGHDR, 10% off. Use that code. Um BG, would that would you feel offended if somebody like just linked you a depression app to make an account? Uh I'm not depressed though. I'm, I'm great. I'm just saying that somebody sent you one. He's like, hey, man, check this out. Make an account real quick. You wouldn't feel yeah, like, uh, like I'm not signed up for this. I'm not depressed. And therapy is for everybody. It don't matter if you got problems oh, yeah, at facts. all. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, make sure y'all take advantage of that 10% off, you know. What's the code? BGHDR? Go talk to somebody. BGHDR. Go talk to somebody. You know, there's a lot. Everybody got some trauma, even if you don't, <laughs> you, if you don't know you, it. Can you actually give somebody that? Because I, I think Beast of Truth, like, I can give him, like... <laughs> I oh. wanted to buy his ass. I wanted to buy his ass a smorgasbord plan. I need him to get all that. Smorgasbord. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter, due to the success of Hell Divers, he said if it yeah. has like hundred thousand plus concurrent players, he'd leave or something. I think he said five hundred k. No, he said he 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 said. I thought he said five hundred k people pl uh, buy it. He he get off Twitter. Something like it's, that. It's definitely five hundred. They sold over three million copies. But yeah, they said uh, they I sold three million. Yeah. I get them the kid and caboodle deal or whatever offer they got on there. Visa the Truth, reach out to me, brother. I want to see you get better, man. BG, yeah. they had the weapon wheel hashtag too for the discount. They got the better help bag too. Um, uh, so that that works. You can tell about the financials. That works differently than Manscaped, but we can talk about that behind mm -hmm. the scenes. <laughs> Fuck you mean it worked differently? <laughs> it worked differently. <laughs> I'm just talking about. I'm just talking about the. You discount talking about code. The, the, the the discount code? <laughs> oh. oh, all right, all right, all right. Are you talking about that? <laughs> oh, no. Look, look at that! Look at that demon! Now he's looking himself after he just tackled my camera. Demon. Is that the one that beats smooth mm. ass? Which one is that one? Like That's my he's favorite. Just chill, like this is yeah, that thing will fuck up your kids if you ever got any too. Nah, cats are sweet, bro. Cats wouldn't do that. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a great guy, but he's a he's a demon too. Um, he about to knock them statues down. Yeah, he's clumsy. You know, cats not supposed to be clumsy. He's a doof. He's a big doof. Have yeah, cutting his whiskers? <laughs> um, we definitely don't. Oh, by the way, some some other games they announced come to PSVR to Zombie Army VR. Uh, little little cities bigger. Little cities bigger. That's the type <sighs> of name of it. Wander. <laughs> Wanderer, The Wizards, Dark Times, Brotherhood, and some other games. I'm getting that Zombie Army VR. That's a day one. Though. Oh, God, bro. I'm so sick of the fucking zombie games in VR. Zombie we get Army. it. Yeah, you bro. Yeah. Nigga in the eye with a knife. It's low hanging fruit. It is. It's very low. But now, why don't you want to get? Why don't you get the wizard game? That looked fun. Like you can uh, cast spells with your hands and maybe. like that rock throwing game. I'll see. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, I'm looking at this Wizard Dark Times. This one don't look bad. It doesn't. Uh, I say, if you, know. you get that, I'll get it because it's cold. Most MSRP on those games, good brother. 
MSRP? Oh, uh, I don't think they, uh, they stated. I don't think they said that. I don't even think it's on the PlayStation Store yet. Price, bro. I, don't I think, think the Wander the Wanderers uh, is already out. It's like twenty something dollars. So let me ask y'all a question, Alex and BG, since y'all are VR enthusiasts. Are you not? Uh, how do you feel about the the Ryan McCaffrey? Uh, the same day that oh, this yeah. announcement came out, he tweeted out. He said it's it marks a year to the day that I wasted five hundred and fifty <laughs> U.S. dollars on this game. You don't sound like a no, Jack move this. It's a year to the day. That oh I wasted yeah, five hundred dollars. What y'all think about that, man? I'm not. I'm not, I'm not mad at him feeling like that. Like I said, if. For PlayStation, he's absolutely right. For PlayStation support, the PSVR 2 has nothing. But that's very different from saying it has no games. If you're just looking at it and like, yo, PlayStation hasn't like released no games for it. Yeah, you're right. But I think to he say it has, he sounds like he no. wouldn't have fun with it at all. If he's saying overall it has no games, he's he's insane. It definitely got okay. games. Bro. He's you know, crazy. You know for what that. I would say, Jack? You know what I would say? What would you it's say, brother? Been, it's been one year that it's been released. And then I want you to think back of all how many games we've gotten just on the PS5. Ew. So when you really, if you look at it, it's like PSVR got a, a, a lot of games in the first year. Granted, a lot of us may not give a fuck about them, but they got a lot of games. I mean, look at it from a historical uh, perspective. What did P- PSVR do in this first year? When did you guys realize the signs of, okay, this is probably not going to be a viable attachment? Like the how did the first one, year the first support? One was good, though. Yeah, they saw well. Year I would say. No, the, the support or the software support. Oh, you talking about the software? They had more games yeah, on PSVR when I feel like. Well, I did. knew there no, wasn't no, going to be a lot at, of software of... when they didn't put. I, I don't know what the situation was, the port and the technology wise, but it should have been backwards compatible. Yeah. Oh yeah, I just, yeah. Say, I just say it's not really. Hold on, it's not. No, no. no. The, some some games they went back and did like Moss One, but. But no, all the games are not backwards. I think Tetris Effect is on both of them, but yeah. it's no, just like I'm anything, not. bro. It's the it's the first year the shit been out, bro. Like, of course, if you when you come when you see a backlog of other games where you're like, what? Why don't you just bring them over? It's more frustrating. But if they started off with a clean slate, shit like that. I mean, they released games. It's been one year. Let me ask you a question, Alex, good brother, because this is interesting. So you seem to be having a decent time with your VR. What, when would you say like, damn, okay, now I'm kind of worried. Like it's been this amount of time and I'm not seeing what I need to see from this platform. How long would that take you, good brother? Hopefully not as long as kids swoop to realize Xbox sucks. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, shit. Look, there's only one, there's only one thing that can save PSVR. They they gotta put MacWare VR. Mm. <laughs> you think that's the one? Okay, it's the only way. The moment Yo, I'm they you, they used to have battle tech centers. You could go to arcades and like museums and play Jack. There's still yeah. something in existence. You actually get to sit in a mech cockpit and play MechWare in VR. That's not kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I'd say I'd say if it got to like year two, and I and I genuinely look at the because right now I'm looking at the I look at the VR store and I'm just like yeah it ain't really shit I want to I look at the PlayStation store and be like that ain't shit I want to play right now no but, absolutely absolutely um, absolutely if you get to where it's like two three and I'm just like damn I'm still cycling the first year of games then I then I'll be able to see this all right y'all got it, it the shit was a failure but it's first year bro like ain't nobody yeah um let me hit up some super chats Iman two five three seven. Why he hype his own bars at the end, like dude on the Chappelle show? Talking about you, Alex. Stop <laughs> hyping your own bars. Hey, that was fire. That was a fire bar, bro. G Rex 6. Just wanted to give shout out to one of my favorite podcasts. Also, whoever made the thumbnail must have done it, done it with one hand. Oh, you freaky frogs. Are you, BG? <laughs> Y'all some uh-huh. freaky frogs. BG nasty. I, I mean, I had a different thumbnail. But then I remembered that was circulating Twitter, and I'm like, I know my audience, and I know Benji. So, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, literally, literally, that's the one, that's the one. So BG, I mean Benji, uh, text you said, thank you, brother. Yeah, it's that's like you know, you <laughs> thank you, brother. When I'm thinking about making uh, when I think about making thumbnails, I'm like, what would ben- what would Benji want to see? You know what I'm saying? Think about him. A dick and ass. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's chop. That's chop. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had to, yeah, I had to kick chop out the Discord. Can we bring yesterday. chop back, he, man? Bro, Can I invite to, him back. 
Keep that, nigga, bro. Keep, that, keep that nigga gone. He's, I'm going to invite him back. Man. Chop is like a little short skin eating disease, bro. Like, respectfully. I thought like, he, liked the, he liked the Mucinex monster, huh, BG? Yeah, he's just, just skin eating. That's, that's how he lost weight. Why you, you think you'll see a nigga under your toenail? Like, he's something nasty, bro. Just a little annoyance. And I don't mean that, you know, and I mean that very respectfully, Chop, if you're listening. But you just like a, just gnawing at somebody's shin. Like, you know, if you had a little little dog that just won't stop gnawing at your chin, right. that's what he feels like. Man. And you let, you let him in your house before, BG. You know that, right? This yeah. is what you did last time, BG. That's how you and Tick fought for. That's why Tick didn't come after Dark for t- six months. Hey, you was talking shit about him. I love all these guys. I just BG never invited Tick back. He just start coming back on his own. No, <laughs> that's, nah, what, that's, that's, that's what that's maturity. That's spoke, real maturity I, right I there. Tick. Um, Rye Star <laughs> didn't didn't Bond try to shame people for taking off work for Last of Us Two and PS Five launch? Oh, did you Bond? Mm, he, did. he did. I mean, it's not a new game. Y'all niggas played that game on the PS4. That's a fair point. Bond is right. Fair point. No, he said Last of Us 2. But now, like, if y'all want to take off like, oh, the Last wait, of Us wait. part. He, he said Last of Us 2. I think he meant in 2020 and the PS5 launch. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, because that was the same year. Um. Okay, I mean. Yeah. Now, he's, like, he's if guilty. Last of Us 3 came out and y'all wanted to take off, I wouldn't have an issue with it. It's a brand new game. Yeah. But you're taking off for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Did he not just hear what I said? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Um, mm. Yeah. I'm taking off. I might take off three days for uh, whenever Last of Us 3 come out. Be real with you. Oh my no, God. Like, oh, repeat that. Like did he not hear what, he, what I just said? I think he did, Ron. Jazzy, did you not hear what Bond said? I acknowledge you. <laughs> mm. He acknowledges you. Okay. Uh Cody Bishop, did anyone here watch the 90s anime The Big O? Yes. Ooh. And nobody could tell me anything about that what that show is about or how it ended. Just a bunch of people in an amnesic city fighting in giant mechs. Japanese Batman. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh Cobe Sanity. Xbox is like the first, second, and third place meme. Popping bottles in third place like they won first place. Yeah. You're not wrong. You're not yeah. wrong about that, good brother. Voodoo Vic. Bring back the flip flops on your stores on your store or slides. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Bring back the flip flops on your Did you have flip flops on your store, BG? Oh, on the did I? Maybe at one point. How you forget? What do you? What the fuck? I, st- I stopped you selling that stuff a long time ago. Um, I don't. Are you telling you what he want? He wants some flip flops or slides, brother. Yeah, I'll see what I can do, brother. Emmanuel A one. If you can't take the heat, get the f out of gaming. That's all the therapy I needed. Bars from hey, look, a, here's a, a, a wise man once said. Right, smooth. We've got a lot of quotables. Right. Got a lot of quotables. All right, what are, what else? What other news we got? Oh, Nintendo Direct. Um, I oh, yeah, so this was, was a partner showcase. Yeah, so this is a partner showcase. So there wasn't really anything uh, from Nintendo themselves. Um, and I looked through this list, and yeah, this list looked very. I didn't give a shit about none of this stuff in yeah. in this list. Nintendo only had like one first party thing, and that was like Endless Ocean at the end. Yeah, uh, so let me go down the list. Y'all can stop me um, if there's anything. Grounded and Pentiment are coming to Switch, as we already knew. We talked about that. Oh, yeah, because people thought that they delayed the partner showcase for this direct to make those announcements, but I don't think so. They're not that big of an announcement for Nintendo to actually delay it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. No, they were originally going to do it and just have Xbox fans take it without saying anything and then update them like in the summer or something. Pause. That's true. Yeah, that's what you said, dude. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ender Magnolia, Bloom in the Mist. Uh, a ranger, a role playing, a role puzzling adventure. Unicorn Overlord, it got a demo. Fire. That's the new uh, Vanillaware game that comes out on March 8th. I played a little bit of it and it's pretty good. It's actually really fun and it actually looks good. And it's like 60 frames on the Switch, too. Well, and there. what else, 
They were saying it was um like a new like a modern age ogre battle, so that might interest you, Bond. I would definitely play that. Okay. Yeah, I think it's pretty good because you shape up like all the characters so far, and the save will transfer over to the full game, so you'll be good. Yep, from the Vanillaware are the developers of that one. Okay. Yeah. Monster Hunter Stories. Fire, because that's the first one that was on the 3DS, so now it's fast coming to Switch, because it was only on 3DS and mobile. And plus, with this game, they're actually going to have voice acting, because that was during a time on the 3DS before Monster Hunter didn't have voice acting until Monster Hunter World. And this game is also going to have like the uh, content, that stuff that didn't get updated from Japan, because... It, that update came out at a time of like when the 3S were getting like phased out because the Switch was coming out, so it didn't come over here during America. So like monsters like Teostra, Raja, and Kushala, they're actually going to come in this version of the game. They didn't give a date, but it's pretty cool because you know this is the first game instead of like stories too. So that's just to tie them over. Okay, Disney's Epic Mickey rebrushed. Mm-hmm. And that's hard. That's I played being, that game, but I heard it's actually re- like a really good platformer for the Wii. So they're remodernizing that for the next generation console. So I'll be I'll be picking yeah. that up when it comes out. Yeah, because developers that's working on this is like I think was it Purple? Some they're the ones that did uh, the Battle for Bikini Bottom uh, remake. So okay, uh, Shimigami Tensei Five Vengeance. Trash. Oh my God. Trash. Listen. When I saw this, I pretty much knew what it was, but it's multiplayer across the board, so yeah, I guess. But you might like it this time around, Bond. Like the the I am uh, not going through it again. No, no, I'm just saying, like the creator (laughs) admitted that the story was like a weak point of the game. So this one is gonna be a lot more story driven with more characters and everything in it. So if you want a definitive Shimigami Tensei five experience, this would be the one to pick up. It's coming to all platforms, so it's basically like the alternative of like Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse was the, S- the original SMT4. Instead of being like a expanded of the base game where you have to play the same game all over again, they're giving you the option to actually play this new version of it without playing any of the old games at the first go around. Uh, and it's on PC too. That's really what the big port this is because it's multiplayer on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Yeah, I'm much. good. And they added I, more demons and stuff like that. But I already played that game was just looked like shit, played like shit, story like shit. I just hope they get rid of like the level gate damage based on your level. As long as they get that, it'll be better off with that. Yeah, that but... was dumb. Like if you weren't a certain level, like you just couldn't do shit. Yeah, it would it would artificially make the game like longer than it needs to be. I'm like, bro, why do you do this? You never did this before with four or Nocturne. Or any other games prior to this. Okay. Especially when ruined... the, the game okay. itself will actually jump in levels. Like on the fourth area, they jump like over like 20 levels or some shit like that. And I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Especially if when my damage doesn't do shit based on my level, it shouldn't be like that. It should be based on my stats. Yeah. So, like, what's the point in having stats if you're going to level gate my shit? But it comes out on June 21st, 21st. the same day. At, but I expect that most people won't play it because they'll be playing something else, but I'll, you'll mention that later on. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection comes out March 14th. Um, yeah, it's going to have online. Yeah, Sword Art Online Fractured Daydream. Next. Um, Gundam Breaker 4. That actually, that actually looked pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to check that out. It looked like the older, um, well, you guys probably haven't played it, but it, there's a game on the GameCube from Capcom called Gotcha Force, and I was really looking forward to a game, like looking for a game like that. If they ever did make a custom robo game, I kind of wanted it to take yeah. a inspiration. I was talking that. about that a couple of days ago. Why doesn't Nintendo make their mech game? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, like, I wanted it to take inspiration from that or like Gundam Extreme Versus and make a modern day custom robo game like that. But this seems to be the closest one we have to that. This is a game starring like Gunpla and you can customize them however you want and take them in a battle and put them in like a 3D arena fighter. So it looks pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, speaking of custom robo, I don't think it's unlikely to see these type of games make their comeback now, especially with the type of games Nintendo's been bringing back from the dead this generation, from like Advance Wars, we just got another code, 
like Jazzy said, we got Endless Ocean coming out and even stuff like Famicom Detective Club. I think now is probably the time for them to start really diving into their more obscure back catalog and seeing what sticks with the modern day audience. So hopefully we see stuff like F-Zero, Chibi Robo, Golden Sun and things like that make the return. But nah, we'll have to find out next generation. Chibi Robo ain't coming because they said they're going to cut the plug on that. But we'll see. I see what you did there, Jazzy. Hmm. <laughs> um. Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble. Uh, Blandry, Blandry, you, that's all you. you love monkey games. It's not that I like monkey games. It's just that game starring monkeys typically are really good. Yeah, we got a, a new <laughs> monkey ball game coming out. They're, bring, they're bringing online multiplayer to it. This game can support up to 16 players online. So we definitely have to get a weapon wheel game night going for that. I will say I'm not exactly a fan of them babyfying the monkeys. I definitely prefer the designs of the GameCube era Super Monkey Ball designs, but this looks pretty cool. I'm definitely interested to see what they got going on with this game, and I will be picking it up day one. Okay. Because well, they look You're different than time that, off uh, of work. Is it only on Switch, or what's it on? It is it's a Switch exclusive. Switch. I mean, I want to play. I like Super Monkey Ball. The hoes love that game. <laughs> yeah. You're you going to be taking time off of work to, to do this, uh, Blay Andrew? Give those uh, balls a rest. No, I, I got rebirth for that and maybe You're well, taking time the... off of rebirth too? Yeah. You guys are losers. This man. is the power oh of exclusive God. smooth. <laughs> me, me, I got smooth. I got Friday. You forget people Sunday. used to used to sleep outside for a Halo release. Remember those good old days? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean I can't all right. Again, like No, he doesn't I remember, remember them. I know I remember no, because I did that too. Um but like, yeah, I just, Nigga, you I, first of all, you just stop cap because I know you, I know you slept outside and camped out for Madden back in the day. Never for Madden. I've only did it for Halo Three, Gears uh, Two. Uh, there was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Actually, that was an eight p.m. release. It wasn't even a midnight release. They gave it to us at eight p.m. Um, no smooth. I, I wish you had this energy for your Xbox brethren stalking people at Best Buy and doing all other types <laughs> of nonsense throughout the years. But God forbid we want to just do something for us. Take time off of work to play a game that we're anticipating to talk about it on the podcast. Take that's care so of our wrong mental health. But you, yeah. you got to take you, you got to take time off of work. You got to like, yeah, bro. It's like it's going to be there after work when you get off. Like, what are you going to miss? That's not quick enough. Not the point. Yeah, it's it's too. It's for your mental health. Uh. Shout out to betterhealth.com slash BGHDR. Um, that's what it's for. Um, World of Goo 2. Never played the, or, well, I played the original one on Wii. It wasn't my type of thing, but that is like a very critically acclaimed, like indie game. One of the original indie games I remember, but it, it looks, Chaos I ain't slider. playing it. I ain't going to lie. Uh, Jack, are you alive or did your cholesterol kill you? Just checking in. <gasps> okay. Just making sure your cholesterol didn't, you know, clog Chaos your arteries. Slider. Y'all talking about some bullshit right now. Hey, is Nintendo? What you want us to hey. talk about? How you want no oh, games want... for 2025? Made by <laughs> oh, Sony? Yeah. How about that, Jack? You want to talk about of, that? World of nah, he's got per- World of Goo. Goo. Look like something you might like, Jack. What you mean? Nah, okay, he's well, going to perk up when the next uh, Devolver Digital game that got announced in this shows up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You going to be playing that on your PlayStation 5, Jack? Or? No, I won't. No, it's not on PlayStation. Shuhei oh, won't allow man. it. Won't allow it man. <laughs> Shuhei said, Indy what? What are those? Uh, okay. Um, Fantasy Life. I, the girl who steals yes, time. Yes, sir. I yeah, was hoping that game would make it out in the summertime, but it's going to be a fall release. I, I was hoping that in, in like, endless, well, no, not Endless Ocean, but like either Shimagami Tensei would switch spots or something, but it's all right. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a more yeah. like action based, like Animal Crossing game to where you get to pick your roles and basically live out your life that way. So if you want to be a hunter, yeah. you can do that. If you want to be like a, what, what do you call like a, a a smith that like makes weapons and stuff? Blacksmith. You can do that. You a can, blacksmith. Yeah, a blacksmith. You can do that. A you can be a smith. cook or anything like that. So <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna yeah. be a lot of fun. All right. It's uh, coming out in October, but I yeah. thought that we would have seen Deca Police, but I, it looks like that game's gonna be way further out in the year if they yeah, this is coming out in October. They showed us a decent amount of Deca Police last year, and they were like, yeah, this is coming out by the end of 2023, and we just haven't seen anything from it ever since then. Like, we know Deca Police is coming. We haven't seen more of Professor Layton. Layton. Yeah, and we're still waiting. Yeah, that's waiting coming out for... next year. Yeah, that'll probably end up launching with Switch 2 or something. And we're still waiting for Inazuma 11. And they have a Yokai Watch announcement that they said they would announce in 
You know? Oh, shouldn't the Yokai Watch be played by 10 million people for, by the power of people? It should be. And Yokai Watch is a phenomenal series, but people just, if it's not Pokemon, people just don't really care for monster collecting games like that. I mean, sadly. Dragon it's Quest like, Monsters was out. Yep, and I, I mean, Jazz, color. you picked that up. I still got to get back yeah. to that. That's a game I played. It's while all about, well, you know, Japan's carrying Dragon Quest every single time. Yeah. Game did well for itself, though. It sold over a million. And, um, but yeah, Level 5 has a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. We might see a lot of that stuff at Nintendo's presentation whenever they decide to reveal Switch 2 information, but a lot to look forward to from them. Yeah. They should have got the Nintendo back so that way Nintendo published their games because, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, because they said they wanted to go multi platform, but then the second they did that, Nintendo pulled out, so we haven't gotten yokai watch in the west anymore and like it's just been a lot harder than for them to localize games oh and we're still uh waiting for megaton musashi so that's another yeah that comes out the same day i think as uh stellar blade next why isn't isn't jack like licking his chops over all these indie horrific games the old jack would have been like rubbing one out here in all these names of games (laughs) i've never heard of my bad let me get my dick ready my bad bro now make wait you said megaton musashi comes out when it comes out in April the same, I think the same day as Stellar Blade 2, I think, oh, or man. a few days before then. Might have to be on that megaton, I don't know. All right. Um, another Crab's Treasure, Penny's Big Break, Big Breakaway. That's- that game is, yeah. is really good. That's from Evening Star, the developers that made the Sonic Mania game. I, I guess there was some type of falling out with Sega. You know, they made their best Sonic game in the past 20 years, and Sega probably felt some type of way about it and kicked them to the side. So, they made their first 3D platformer in Penny's Big Breakaway. So, basically, the game starts off with Penny, the main protagonist, going to, like, this carnival to show off her new skills to the king. But something goes wrong with her yo-yo. That's what her whole, you know, presentation was about. But her yo-yo ends up, like, it's like a, a, a monster type of yo-yo. It attacks the king, it bites him off, takes off all his clothes, and then like the king's minions send these penguins her way to try and chase her Bitch. out of <laughs> <laughs> chase her out of the kingdom. Like, so, what the fuck is going on? So the game is it's like a momentum based platformer, like classic Sonic games, but it, it's it's just a really a really cool platformer. It utilizes platformers to use like a a whip to attack your enemies you can use it as like a a rope to swing across certain obstacles and it gives you like multiple different like objectives to do while you're making your way to the goal so like if if you come across a robot that says like hey can you deliver these tools to my worker he left them back here you get to go this whole other course and do this whole obstacle course without getting hit or falling into any pits if if women watch our shows these tools to said to said robot if it's really cool, BG. I'm not even gonna lie. You guys would love that game. If, if well, maybe women, not you guys, but Jack, you would love that game. If, if women, Salute. if any woman currently watches our show, they are very dry right now from that. Hey, man, if you show them Penny's Big Breakaway, they might like it. And it's got like th- this old retro, like Sega Genesis Saturn, like whole design to it. It, it looks super, super okay. cool and vibrant. All right, Jack, let me fly. Let me fly through the rest. Just, of are these. you farting, Jack? What are you doing right now? Scratching my back, brother. Oh, okay. All right. I can't do um, nothing around you, Alex. You can't. No, sir. Uh, oh, damn, Jack, your titties swapping everywhere. Wait, hold on, Jack. At the very least, do, look at a trailer for Penny's Big Breakaway and tell me you don't want to play it. <laughs> yeah. uh, can you Go send me okay, Alex? Go check it out, Jack. Uh, Suka, Suka Game Multiplayer Suka Mode. Game, ex- BG. <laughs> oh, my bad. Multiplayer Mode Expansion. Um, Alex, you okay? Pe- Pepper- they, they do look good. They do look good, and they look sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> what you give? What you give? Jack's titties out of one out of ten. How you rate his titties? Hey, better help. Use a discount code. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna make it out the hood, y'all. Let's get it. Hey, man. Uh, Pepper Grinder <laughs> comes out March twenty eighth. This game sounds nuts. Oh, that's, I know that that that's, name that's is the- that's crazy. That's the game I was talking about that made by developer Digital that Jack looked like. That's not coming to PlayStation. It's basically like a little girl. I played the demo that came out, the the direct that came out, and it's kind of fun. You just like mm. a little platforming, but you have to do like a drill that you can like move around in to get more like uh, platforming elements and stuff. Mm. It's pretty good. I think you, like Jack would really like this you game. You think Shuhei be like uh, on some island with a martini uh, while PlayStation not getting indie games, Jack? Like, what you think he doing? Uh, Feet kicked up, no. sipping out, you he know, sipping a martini. Nothing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, doing like fit. 
he be doing fit, no, he be doing fit picks, fucking chilling with other develop. He don't be he be at award shows where he ain't a nominated <laughs> for none of them. Like, bro, go mm-hmm. bring out some fucking game shoes, brother. And you do you own know? part of Devolver Digital, but I'm not gonna give him a phone call. And, and shoe, shoe loves they own the Switch, so he Devolver got like five of them things. So he ain't missing. Yeah, what you gonna do? DM you like that other nigga? That you were saying, this is what you're, this is the, the pain. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, shoot, hey, brother, I need you to bring out some games, man. You, you <laughs> bugging, bro. That's it. I'm okay. not bringing him over because I don't, I don't think it's in his control because PlayStation don't really care about indies. So they all migrate. I thought he like, was the head of, Twitch. he was the head of fucking independent indies. relations, man. Yeah, but if he ain't no, getting pushed back from a... y'all, why should he, you know, get these games for you guys? Yeah, and plus, they, that's like a placeholder job because, like, hey, we ain't got nothing for you to do, so just chill here. And oh, we're going to say you're the head of Indy, so you don't do shit. <laughs> and still get a paycheck. Send a nigga home, dog. Pocket car jockey right on and Contra oper- Operation Galunga. Or Galuga. That Contra game was, what? Uh, that Contra Operation game Galuga. <laughs> This shit's like an STD. I saw I, I saw uh, RGZ talking about it uh, from his thumbnail. It looked like he was saying it's really bad. I don't know. Yeah, just, I've never been a fan of Contra to begin with, but this one in particular just does not look good. Yeah. Um, and some classic rare games are going to switch: Snake Rattle and Roll RC Pro AM Battle Toads. Uh, I like RC Pro AM. This was a, a terrible selection of rare. They gave everybody the rare games we didn't want. We're still Killer waiting Instinct. for Donkey Kong. Yeah, we're still waiting for DK64, Banjo Tooie, and Perfect Dark. Those were like the ones we really. Didn't they to remake a Perfect? Dark? Oh, uh, Smooth. They no, speaking of Perfect. The hold on, hold on. <laughs> speaking of Perfect Dark, they're releasing a new Tomb Raider game. Smooth, you lost and the bet. That's what we wanted. Wait, wait. Yeah. No, no. We already discussed that the Tomb Raider that 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 retro one don't count. It's not. It a wasn't a retro game. one. I posted it in the chat. You talking about the original? The, 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 oh no! That's no, not like an RPG or something. They announced there's a Tomb Raider RPG coming out. That's not a Tomb Raider game, dog. Yeah, it is. About traditional Tomb Raider. <laughs> who's making it? Is it Crystal Dynamics or somebody else? I don't know who's making it, but it's a game. Nah, hold your ground. Smooth, it, don't do it. When's it coming out? I don't know when it's coming out, but I bet you it's probably going to come out before Perfect Dark gets announced. Mm. Oh, you you really want really? <laughs> oh, don't God do it, damn it! Don't do it. Um, just Wait, to finish, just to finish out the games: <laughs> Endless Ocean, Luminous, Snufkin, Melody of Moomin Valley. Uh, bro, what are these names? Bro? <laughs> why do Why do these games have such bad names? I don't understand. Demon Slayer, Kamitsu no Yaba, Sweep the Board. Oh, why are these names so long? And I think they're like Japanese, bro. Yeah, but Demon Slayer is like a Japanese <laughs> anime, so that's why. Not it's not Demon like Slayer. All the other ones. Uh, you know so they, endless ocean. Yeah, a lot of Japanese. No, endless ocean. That's yeah. But it's no Snufkin like Melody it. of Moomin Valley. What is that title? That sounds crazy. The gameplay not unique, yeah. so they got to make the name sound cool. And Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition. All right, that's it. Off of Nintendo. That's that's everything. Wait, else. no, no, no. Wait, no, that game's going to the Switch. What I miss? Oh, yes. We got to talk about endless ocean, dog. But the Kingdom Deliverance. Uh, it looked kind of like one of those crusty uh, triple uh, ports. Don't touch it, because it looked like it wasn't really that well optimized. Okay, what you want to say? About endless now. Ocean. Um, this is what the game they ended off the showcase with, and I know a lot of Nintendo fans are kind of like iffy about this game in particular. Like, why would play this? Because this is basically like a scuba diver simulator that they've only made like two endless ocean games that are both on the Wii. So for them to make a new one. It's pretty much like nobody really wanted this because, like I said, Nintendo gives spotlight to like some of their like smaller like IPs that people aren't really familiar with outside of like Mario, Zelda, Smash, and Pokemon and stuff like that. So I feel like it was fine with them. It's not a game that I feel like people in this community would check out at all per se, but it is what it is. I'll check it out when it comes out. I feel like PC it. gamers would probably gravitate towards it. Yeah, it's a scuba diving similar. You're in the ocean. You're Collecting like data, with, like wildlife, like a Pokedex. Yeah, oh, so, like a... Subnautica and, and Abzu and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah this was before like that, that though. Um, and, it's and it's like... Got, like it's got like online multiplayer as well, so we can all squad up for that and go into the deep sea. Yeah, like thirty four years. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I say it like that, bro. Um, okay. Shout out to Nintendo. Yeah, back to 
Yeah, back to the say, pony Jack, podcast. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of depressed move Johnny. I, I miss my old lively, comical Jack move. I'm lively, man. What's good, Blandy? How you doing, brother? <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna give you the you next Nintendo the... console, dog. I'm good, brother. What'd you say, Blandy? I'm about to say any of the games from the showcase you you see yourself playing. Oh, yeah, what's the one Poughkeepsie Square? What would you call BG? Yeah, what's the one? Camera grinder. <sighs> uh, sure, man. Why not? <laughs> Check out. <it. laughs> uh, Suicide Squad. Uh, what, what did I write down here? Oh, uh, Warner said they're not happy with the with the sales. <laughs> yeah, no shit. No, you don't say. <laughs> that's that. crazy. That's crazy. They said that. Yeah, that's didn't expect that one. Listen, Rockstar, who, Rocksteady. Who, who called that, Jack? Who everybody. called that? Cocksteady. <laughs> Exactly. Rocksteady. Did I, did, I, re- did I not call it, Jack? You called him Cox. They no, can redeem God themselves. Damn. They can. It's a wrap. With, it's over. No, with one move. With one move, they can redeem themselves, right? How? Batman Beyond. They can. All their all their top talent left to create their own studio. It's a it's over. You still oh, got, still got it's a wrap. <laughs> oh, we oh, we <laughs> <laughs> you pe- people loved you for Batman. You made some mis- you made one major mistake along the way that just took eight years. Go back to what people loved you for. There you go. They people love you for again. Have the talent. All, all is that people they can hire. There's still some talent a, there. They can, turtles, they, can turtles, man, they can do it. They can do it. Also, you know what the crazy thing is? You've seen into the Spider-Verse game, right? Yeah. Or the movie, right? Yeah, the movie, yeah. 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 Apparently, they canceled a Batman Beyond style movie that would have been like Into the Spider Verse. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. I'm telling you, they can, do it. They, they can do it, bro. <laughs> Batman why Beyond. Not, why do you guys have faith in Warner Brothers? I mean, you Warner know, Brothers is canceling everything. They have shitty shows. They have shitty fucking movies. They have shitty fucking games. They have shitty fucking wrestling. Their management w- is horrible. WB like. isn't doing anything correctly. It was not. It's not Wait, Warner Bros. Said... It's just Rocksteady that I think. Like, yeah, they, their talent is not the same from eight years ago. But it, I absolutely believe they could still make another great single player Batman game. Wait, but would it take would uh? What's it called? Batman Beyond take place in the Arkham universe, or do you want them to start a whole another universe with they a can't. new Batman? They can't. They killed Batman. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Start a new one. A new universe. Start a new one. A new universe. Hmm. Yeah. Start a new one, or come up with some ridiculous hmm. story plot that reverses and retcons yeah. what you did. Either one. The Su- Suicide Squad being in the Arkhamverse assist. It didn't help. And, that, it at and all. that's what sucks. They can't do Batman Beyond in the Arkhamverse because they fucking killed Bruce Wayne. Yeah. So another do it. Just do another universe and. Uh, People will love you. But that's okay. lame because we want to see our Batman that from Arkham have a new protege. True. I get your point. True. Um, love it. But I, I can just imagine it now. You know, like them doing a gameplay demo or a gameplay reveal and it's just Terry in the suit and you hear Bruce on the comms. Niggas going to go crazy. Like, oh, I love Rocksteady. I'm back on board. Yeah. Can't even do that anymore because fucking Conroy's dead. He is, but uh, yeah, that that would have been like a cool reveal too. Like you just see like the the Arkham Batman suit just in some type mm-hmm. of glass, and then it pulls back, and you see old man Batman, and then and yeah. you know what would have been awesome an Arkham Knight if there was an Easter egg with the Beyond suit. Like yeah, this is something I'm working on. It's not ready yet though. Um, maybe yeah. for the next generation, Alfred what? give Jack some antidepressants. Oh, that's pretty good, Blanche. That's pretty good. And uh, uh, other people can play. Right other people can play Batman. Is it going to be exactly as good? No, but many have done it. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Rocksteady. I hope y'all recover. Prayers and thoughts. Uh, they're dead. They're good. they're done. How many times I got to tell you? All it takes is one bad game to. Re- well, it doesn't take one bad game, but one bad game over like. Eight years, yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah, what's as long as these games take to develop now? I mean, you're kind of done for if I, you I make one bad game. I just don't know if we should throw away, like, I, I just, I just don't know if we we should throw like who were once great developers away that quick. You know what I'm saying? Okay, if, they, they, if, if if all the talent leave, I mean, shit. I don't, I just don't believe in throwing them away that quick. Like, if okay, they 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 made one huge mistake, and yes, it took eight years, but before that, they were flawless. So we. <laughs> Well, oh, we, we don't. We don't yeah, have. We don't have. We don't have enough. We don't have reason that Steam refunds exist. What the fuck do you mean flawless? Oh, besides Arkham uh, Knight I mean, PC port, but the game so, itself was good. 
So they fucked up after eight years. You go willing to give them what another five to ten to make it better? I'm, I'm willing to give them. them I'm willing to give game? them one more game, regardless of how long it well, takes. I'm willing long, to give them long, one more game. Another so, eight so years. They get yeah. They get sixteen years to prove themselves. Yeah. Like, right. hey man, listen. All I'm saying, everybody should be able to recover from a stumble. Like you get, you should be able to get a game to put out one more game. So but, but you people are suddenly acting like. They're just trash developers. When y'all were ready to put them in top five before. The gone. They hit free agency. The same niggas aren't there. They're the fucking Cavaliers or the Heat after LeBron left. But it's over. No, but oh, see, but when oh, people, <laughs> but when pe <laughs> see, here's the thing: when people say the talent left. People, some of that talent gets passed down, and they do hire new talented people, bro. So it's not like there's just straight bums at that studio. Man beyond now, BG. It's over, there's not bro. just look. bums at that studio, bro. Because listen, as much as yeah, I, we look, we look at uh, Suicide so, Squad and absolutely believe it's trash. But there are certain mm -hmm. things in that game that were done somewhat well, so, and and yeah. and you could argue that it's not necessarily the development. It was just they chose a bad game. So let me ask you a question. No, but, it wasn't the development. But people that was playing them games in 2015 and before that, how many of them people are still gaming? How many people hold uh, Rocksteady in high regard? Like, whoever playing these new games coming out, bro, they either, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't a lot of, who's to say them people still around even give a fuck I just, about listen, I just, I just don't believe you go from great to trash that quick. They, they may not be what they once were, but maybe it's probably somewhere in the middle. And I believe there's, they would nah, still you be sound capable. like an Xbox fan. I don't. I'm just, I'm just saying, I mean, bro, the, you can't go from one, one side of the spectrum to the other so yes, quickly. Yes, you can. Have, have, have you seen the Tennessee Titans play? <laughs> that, 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 that was gradual. That was gradual. <laughs> gradual? Nigga, we went from being in the AFC Championship to get Nigga, it's been eight know. years. How much more gradual do you water. need? Yeah, that's all we're, bro. See, but, okay, I get y'all. Y'all are doing it by years. I'm doing it by release. So if they were to release one more bad or mediocre game, I'm I'm like, all right, y'all got it. It's, cra but, it's crazy because the worst game took the longest to release. <laughs> like, yeah. come on, man. But like, uh, here is the problem. You can't say wait till the next game. By the, by the time their next game comes out, it'll have been over a decade since they've made a good game. Mistakes happen, bro. Stumbles it'll be happen. one third of your life that they've made a good game. Listen, all I'm Nigga, saying you is... Might have Kids by the time they make a good game, most likely. Oh. I'm just saying, you get you release one bad game after releasing critically acclaimed ones. I'm gonna give you one more shot. I'm not writing you off. That's just me, though. That's me. I'm not writing. Hey man, you, you off. kill one. You you kill one person. They put your ass in jail for you know. You might fuck around and get life behind that BG. Everybody don't get a second yeah, chance, we'll, good brother. We'll see. We'll see. You know, I, I think they will get a chance to make another game. I don't think this is the end of Rocksteady. I, I'm pretty sure they will get another chance, and we'll see what they do with it. No, what? What? If you better hope the, the same niggas that's running Warner Brother Media, they not running a game division already because they cutting shit off quick, bro. Bro, they get rid, they get rid of shit that's successful. <laughs> they, they write shit off. Yeah, the they, they can't even make a decent wrestling show. It's all with brother. Yeah, like, dude to say BG Coppin, please, for trash debt. They're trash devs? How, that quickly? Listen, y'all gotta, gotta relax. I'm not, hey man, I'm not even caping for fickle, them. Bro. I'm just saying you, you can't. It's, it's like the same thing with, like, with people with, like, Neil, um, Neil okay. in, in his writing. They're like, in, in the first game, Neil, oh, he's such an amazing writer. They didn't like Last of Us Part Two. Oh, Neil is the worst writer on the planet. Y'all go too extreme. You're only, as good, as your you're only as good as your last project. But man. people Thanks. go too extreme. Yeah, that's the, that's what, the what is the, What does the, the NFL say? It's too extreme. Not, not for long. What have you done for me lately? If you che if if your girl, it, uh, so BG, if your girl, if your girl cheats oh, on you, God, are you supposed to say? Go. Oh, it only happened one time. We get nah, it's, it's over. That's not the same BG, thing. We have a we have if, a recent if, example. If a quarterback, if a quarterback wins the Super Bowl one year and then he misses the playoffs next year, I'm not saying he's trash. They're gonna I'm be saying, looking. At, they're gonna be looking. They're gonna be looking. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Are they, are he, they he had an off quarterback. You know what? You quarterbacks know what? have you know a bad what? year. You know BG, you're a hundred percent right, and I'm glad you brought up football. Where's Carson Wentz? He's out. <laughs> Where's that nigga Carson Wentz? At the crew. But that that's not an example of what I said though. 
one good year and then he was done. The I next said year. I said he will Where's technically technically he didn't win the Super Bowl. I'm saying where young where young Dick at? Nick oh Foles is retired a champion. Like I said, I'm nobody's gonna you Battle can't Field. win the Super Bowl and just Battle go Field, straight tr to trash. Like maybe you had an off uh, year. You I get mean, to prove it. Literally yourself. happened. Right, happened man, y'all got it. Y'all got what, it. Man. What about what about Battlefield? That that one entry destroyed everybody's faith in them in dice. Nah, they had back to back ones that kind of just Battlefield Five was wasn't technically five bad. one. It was mid. five and yeah. one. One, one was great. Bad, they're, they're, they've been inconsistent. One was amazing. Five was eh. Four started off shaky. And then 2042 just was terrible at the, be the beginning. So, yeah. So like, think people it, will trust them to make their next game? Because, yeah. Well, this new one, some people are optimistic because it's under completely new management. So, Vince Zampella and the people he's putting in charge, I have more optimism for Battlefield than if it was, like, exactly the same people in charge. So it's like, um, what's his name from from Star Wars? Uh, they just put him in charge uh, that everybody loves. God damn it, what's his name? You know, Tony. Yeah. Spe Every Speaking of Star Wars, y'all niggas watched the Bad Batch yet? Season three? I watched it. Nope, um, I'm Star Wars out. But everybody did, did you watch was... all three episodes. I did. Let me ask you a question. Um, what? Not to say that the, sh the cartoons are bad. But why does it feel like this nigga can't just make his own cartoon show? Every cartoon show he has to make has to fill in the gaps that these shitty ass movies made. Mm. Yeah, that that that's true. It it it, ha it has to make the those movies better retro retroactively. But that's my yep. point. F Filoni, people have seen the work he's done, and now they're a little bit more optimistic about. The future of Star Wars, even though the past has been garbage, so I I, I just think it's the same. It's I mean, the same that's because they had Karen Kennedy. You know what they say, Jack? What's the number one biggest evil in the world? White women. Pretty much destroyed Star Wars. So how does this nigga get it right every time? <laughs> it's like a Bond <laughs> quiz. So listen, that's it. I I ain't gonna say nothing else about Rocksteady. We'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um. All right. All that uh, too, though, Jack. Um, Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree trailer came oh, out. Oh, day one. Yup. The uh, fuck? Did you just hit that? <laughs> <laughs> Who did I add, Liam? What was it? It's not like he laughed like the, the dad from uh, Curse Caldwell, Houston. He, <laughs> sound, he sounded like Trey Songs with that, yup. Yeah, uh, I know what the fuck was that. Oh, no, that was the, the noise that a gamer makes oh. every time he mentions Elden Ring. Ja right. Jack, when What's are you going to stop being a fraud and actually play a... Wow. Uh, another another Souls game besides uh, El, uh, besides Bloodborne and Liza P, which is uh, Bloodborne as a puppet. Gonna, pl <laughs> gonna play any wow. other uh, Souls game, sir, and uh, actually become a real Souls guy? Probably not, brother. Oh, man. Streets was saying you got ring. carried. Streets was saying you got carried on Elden Ring. I don't no. wanna. No. The, the, I, ain't gonna, I, ain't gonna, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk too much. The, the, the streets thought, also I said thought, I was. I thought Smooth got carried. I never got Him carried too. nowhere. No, my, source, my source told me BG no. got carried the, the streets also said BG story. was homeless and living in his car. Well, we've kept, we confirmed that. <laughs> at, least, well, at least one of them is true. You know what I'm saying? One of them got to be true. They ain't lying all the time now. I, I got most of, like, damn near all of the, the narratives that's, that's happened on the internet about me have been lies. So You know what I don't like about you? You and Kiss Move have made the Weapon Wheel community believe that there are two white saviors. Game and Addict for Kiss Move and Blaze for you, BG. Stop having these white men come and save the day for y'all game. Blaze did not save me from nothing. Blaze, did, did, did I meet up with Blaze and he gave me like two items? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Everything else I got on my own. What was the two items? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> remember. I think <laughs> it, I don't unlimited <laughs> souls. No, no, <laughs> it was not like that. Mouth, yeah, it wasn't not like that. I beat, I beat every single boss by myself. All the weapons in the game got by myself. I beat a hundred and well, how many? I think a hundred and ten oh, bosses in that game. Yeah, y'all can't talk to me. Don't oh try that. No, he, he he come in to give you the best weapon in the game. No, he didn't. I the 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 dual the dual uh I forgot what the names of are, but the bleed Hell the the, the dual up, swords with the with the bleed. That's me. I did that. Hold the the on. Kamehameha yeah, wave. The Kamehameha yeah, wave magic. Bosses. That's me. And they and they want you to play that, Jack. <laughs> All of that I did that myself in the game. Oh, Jack, Jack, did you play Elden Ring? No, sir. What the fuck are you playing then? I'm just gaming, brother. Did your, cat, did your cat just give you a bowl of food, BG? That's fine. I wish my cat did. Shut that. up. Yeah, Alex Carter. <laughs> Don't ever try to take my Elden Ring 
accomplishments away from me, my soul's accomplishments. You can't do that. I'm just, I'm just telling you what the streets told me, and I'm plugged in. To, I got my ears to the streets. The bro. streets always lied. When the streets ever told the truth? This nigga Jay really sleepy. Yeah, that's a good point. Lie. Niggas never tell the truth. Exactly. The streets ain't never tell the truth. It's my streets ain't filled and, with niggas. My streets filled with dundos. Gossip and rumors. Hey, yo, like balls, yo. <laughs> um, <laughs> my streets filled with dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even I don't even I don't even really care about the like I don't got much to say about the trailer. I don't I don't I don't have much to say about the trailer. I'm excited to play the game. I don't, have, yeah, I don't have nothing to say about the trailer though. Did you hear that um from software officially now owns the Elden Ring IP from Bandai Namco? So it's one hundred percent theirs now. I thought they always owned it. No nope. awesome. you know, because that's why Bandai Namco publishes most of their games like Armor Core and stuff like that. Yeah, they they basically wanted like that. That's what Platinum Games was setting out to do. They didn't want to be on, like they didn't want their IPs owned by Sega, Nintendo. Jack, Square are you Unix stroking anything. it? What the fuck you doing? I'm chilling, man. I got my remote in my hand, bro. <laughs> you you want me you want me, you want me to tug my shit, bro? So yeah, they they yeah, basically so- did what Platinum Games couldn't do. Fire. Hey, what well, about to say, bro? Um, uh, Platinum Games I'm shaking this fucking remote at us, bro. Platinum Games is fire. They're that ain't no remote. Second, oh shit! The second bad. best game of 2023. <laughs> no fucking <laughs> that was my shit. Yeah, Freaky man. Freaky ass frog. <laughs> Freaky ass frog. Hey, better help. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. Um. I'm glad. Uh. Drain, God, drain the lumps on your chest. Yo. <laughs> glad, oh. Glad from Make software got their IP. Um. That's like paying for your publishing. I- I did not the know they didn't own that shit. No. <laughs> yeah, they don't own Dark Souls either. I believe that's, that's Bandai crazy. as well. Yeah. Fire. Um, Damn, DraftKings emailed me, BG. They said they missed me. DraftKings. I need to get back to betting, bro. <laughs> get back to gambling. So, yeah, I don't got nothing else to say about the trailer. Um, I look forward to the game. Uh, it's in June. All right. So, no other thoughts? Okay. I don't even know what y'all talking about. Oh, uh, Jack, well, what's, uh, what's the next game you're yeah. looking to, forward to, good brother? Oh, hey, what bro. day is it? Come on, Jack. Are you, did you beat FF7 Remake? Yeah. Jack, does, Jack doesn't play that. <laughs> so you're not going to play I'm going to be honest, on, brother. On. I got to the Shinra build and couldn't do it. Couldn't fucking finish it. <laughs> he didn't get nowhere. Listen, <laughs> we exposed Jack is a closed minded gamer. Y'all got this. Y'all, y'all under the impression this man is just open minded and plays a lot of stuff. He won't play no real, no other Souls game. He won't play no RPG. Shin- he won't play no building. first person shooter. He won't play nothing, Shinra, bro. I got to the Shinra building. And no, I, 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 what I, happened I in the Shinra build. building? What happened in there? It was some Shinra shit. I didn't. I didn't like. <laughs> yeah, it. I, had I know. To, I had to get. The, Jack is a closed-minded gamer. Couldn't fucking believe it. I had to get out of there. All right? But I know what I'm talking about. He's not so versatile. Jack, Jack, Jack. What the fuck? No one of this thing is playing Persona for like the fifth time. Streaming. He's, not, he's, he's playing straight. Callisto Protocol. Exactly. Great game. Jack, you Great exposed. Game. You exposed my brother. This is crazy. Yeah. Jack used to be the guy. Oh, nobody plays as many diverse games as I do. I play all these obscure indie games. But you don't even be playing regular games yeah. that may be obscure and different. Bro, oh, th- think about it. Last year, everybody said last year was one of the greatest years in gaming. When oh, quanti- be, hey, quantity no, and you, you quantity be, and quality, yeah. quantity and quality. Versus- Jack, Jack was like, eh. Cause he don't play a wide variety of games. That's his problem. It's no. not the game. It's not the industry. It's Jack is the problem. You're the problem. No, that's crazy. You my man's. So I gotta let you know you the problem. Oh, don't we die. <laughs> Sorry, Open yeah, up your mind. Shit. Nigga don't play PC games. They don't play Switch yeah. games. And that nigga wasn't on Hell Divers. And he wonder why he depressed. Devil, he he, he, he put a grenade in my asshole last time I played, but then he pulled a pin too. Look, look my, my whole thing is this. If you're a man and you don't play video games, you better have a six pack. <laughs> I do. Because that, that's how you got a six pack. No, I play video games. Buy a six pack. Check me out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop rubbing oh, yourself, God. bro. I'm just saying, you, if you got all that extra time from not gaming, Jack. Agreed. I've seen Absolutely. Jack's body more than I've seen my girl body today. <laughs> I've seen more. But you, you sucked my dick before too. Wow, Alex, you let her, pay, is you let her pay for the bills, so I'm not surprised. Fucking sacred. I let her yeah. pay for what? 
<laughs> Your girl wearing the what's he say the bloomers in the relationship, brother? It's like chat, chat. No, no, this He's is wild, yo. Room. You be getting free games from BG. It's like, a, oh my fucking god! Where did I get a free game from BG? M- BG mind you, B- Bond. I offered him. You know what I offered Jack? It was Persona Three Reloaded, but he he denied denied it because it was PC. Good job, Jack. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I, I don't exactly blame, but he does the, love Persona, so I'm surprised he's not even on that at the very this least. This y'all came? Yeah, pro- Callisto Protocol is insane, Jack. Like, I've, out of Callisto all the Protocol, games you can great, do, great that fucking game's pretty dope, though. Great Jack. fucking yes, game. Jack. Exactly. Great it's Jack. smooth certified. You, or you, I gotta find out what happened to Jacob Jack, Lee and, and you, uh, you, you and, you and over, Xbox, buddy. you and like Xbox territory right now, playing mid games, because you won't open up your mind to great things that are out there. Hey man, so what you say, Jeff? And you, you no, no, you want to get on all you. We, we, no, we on you because you want to get on all this preaching, talking about all that. This is what's wrong with the industry and the industry this and industry that. And you ain't, you won't open up your mind to play nothing. You're the problem. Stop blaming the industry. I won't, I won't open up my wallet. I'm speaking with my wallet. I'm in front of BG. Your games, you don't open up shit. I bought, I bought a lot of games. BG don't play. He don't want to tell y'all about that. Did you beat Prince of Persia? I ain't fuck with that. I see, would see. To, to do what I did to Bond <laughs> last year, Jack. <laughs> and, and bro, and, uh, and hold on, bless you. Prince of Persia is a Jack type of game too. Exactly. I, I platinumed it. I platinumed it. <laughs> Some type of 2D Metroidvania. Uh, like. Jack's the problem. Jack, you you betterhelp.com slash BGHCR. You need counseling, bro, because you you not out here beating good games. I just wanted to let y'all know Callisto Protocol is a fantastic. It was, now, it was it, it's funny. Gym. The audience out here is saying, I don't play Bond. I don't play any. Shut up. Get on Jack's ass. <laughs> hey, man. You're, salute. Salute. You're the problem, Jack man. Been playing, Jack been playing the same person. Like, every day I look up, this nigga playing the stream of the same game. Persona. Speak with your wallet. Speak with your wallet, man. That's all I got to say, bro. Jack, speak you, with you. you speaking in poverty right now. I ain't trying to hear nothing you say. Speak. I don't. Speak. I'm a broke nigga. They, no, you I'm not. A broke nigga. Yes, I am, no, BG. I've had the shirt since I was in eighth grade. Tell me different. I'm a broke nigga, baby. Why it still fits you? Because I was fat back then, man. What the fuck you mean? Why I still fit? Because he never lose weight. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hold up, Jack baby, lost weight. We've we seen the progression pictures. Good luck, Jack. Thank you, brother. But get back to work. Get back to game, and you bum ass nigga. Damn. Game, smooth there's, teeth. Game there's no, there's no, bro. no. We on you because this, this moody, this moody, very Batman in a cave. Oh, you know, it, Sexy thing, ass things yeah. aren't yeah. the way they used to be. Uh, you, you want to know about way. war? <laughs> war never changes. On, the gaming industry isn't what it. No, it's great. Play some what games. Are talking about? What are we talking about? Play some baby? games, you bum. <laughs> I don't want to, brother. <laughs> I, 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 I can see, like, oh, yo, you know what it is, BG? Why he don't play games? Why? You know why? Because he found himself a new game. It's called DraftKings. Oh, Ooh, I like that. I ain't been, I ain't been gambling, man. I ain't been gambling. Uh, I don't believe you. They, they, I need to. I ain't been gambling, man. They, they called you out, Jack. You, this all, I, you be denying it, but all of this stemmed. From PlayStation games going to PC, you still can't get over it. Yep, smooth. They're know. both in these little depressive yep. funks. Yep. You, you still like. can't Landry. get over it. Landry, what I say in the chat? Smooth, packed. Jack, <laughs> PS5, pack watch. Don't bring, don't bring Alex, me up. Don't bring me up. Don't bring me up. PS2 VR, pack bitch. watch. BG, multiplayer, pack <laughs> watch. Landry, <laughs> like, the only one that ain't on pack watch. Yeah, Orari die. <laughs> that's crazy bro that's, man uh i mean okay. I'm, I'm living the good life here i got all i got i got all the machines i got all the games yes sir they're molly whopping me jack out here frauding man you hate to see it oh I'm, damn I'm, 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 doing, I'm not again i'm not again i'm doing like i used to do on the ps2 gen uh bond one day it's the switch next day it's ps5 Never Xbox, but you know I'm so, constantly jumping. I'm enjoying both of those consoles. Yeah, I'm a game. I'm a gaming you sound, influencer. You sound like a certified lame, bro. <laughs> Tell them. Tell them. I'm I'm sorry it's that it. I enjoy this this hobby of gaming that we both do. Kids move. How tragic, yeah, that we enjoy gaming. Yeah. Ugh. I'm a gaming influencer. I don't have to game anymore. I'm a, I'm a tastemaker. So. <laughs> taste That's how they go. Are you verified but, on Twitter now, Jack? I wish. Are your nah, trophies a, a private or public? 
Oh, I need to private my trophies. Good there point. you Good go. Point. Good point. So n we've all accepted that Jack is the problem, and nobody is does to take him PS5 serious. You, does buying a PS5 give you street cred, BG? No, nobody is to take when when you <laughs> exactly. hit when you hit when you hear exactly. Jack complaining about games. That's nobody is to it. take him serious because, as you can see, great but games are out and he ain't playing them. Wouldn't it make me a hypocrite if I talk shit about the games and then went and bought and played them? Wouldn't no, that hypocrite? would make you Tony. It's okay. He's no, a hypocrite, is he? Isn't he a hypocrite? Y'all yeah. call him a hypocrite. Yeah. Okay. Let's try to make sure. <laughs> I forgot what uh what a what did Kofi call him? He called him some type of merchant. The, the, damn it. It perfectly described Tony. So standing on business is frowned upon, is that correct? I just need to know. That, that's not what you're doing. You're not standing on business. I'm standing on business, bro. Here go my foot right here, bro. I'm standing on business, bro. No. <laughs> oh my god. I'm standing <laughs> on business, nigga. Uh, slap yeah. some, slap some lotion on those yappers, bro. What are you doing? Yeah, put them put them squash yams back in the camera. Let me see. Them. <laughs> put them I'm good, bro. I'm standing on business, baby. Put the potato stompers in the camera, man. That shit great. <laughs> they stomp wine. You stomp. You be getting the barrel and stomping wine. I those. ain't never stomped nobody right. to find wine. I oh, ain't never whoa, took whoa, nobody whoa, dick I never took nobody dick by my own. Um, I wasn't going you know there. Last week, uh, I cut a cake at a I cut cake at a birthday one time. I hope it was mine. Uh, what else? There's a rumor that uh, last week BG said competition is. Great. I never said nothing like that. <laughs> uh, I never fell out of boat, thankfully. Uh, I don't know how to swim, so that wouldn't be too good. Uh, what else? You be a drum? I'm not. I'm not very musically inclined. That would be the drum. Uh, I don't... Speaking of which, did you hear that muscle? Listen, Whew. he had a jack move bar in there. I was like, no, Sheesh, let me turn. Let me repeat that again. No, just <laughs> but my question: Must listen for who though? Like. <laughs> your, your favorite comment. This shit ain't on no streaming networks, nigga. Tell him, Jazzy. Tell him, Jazzy. I'm not Bus in this. <laughs> please, then please quit it, yet, David. Fuck what you talking about. I am not in this. If, I just if, want. If, that's if, if, if that poet ended up in After Dark, would I get kicked off the pod? Blanche, Blanche, where's your camera at, dog? Yeah, the people want to know when you gonna get on camera. They harassing me about it. We addressed this during the, during the um during the the advertisement section. Preambles. Well, yeah, the preamble. What, what we say? What what was going on? When I get when I get my whole living situation in order. Okay. And when my beard grows out, it's finally starting to come in a little bit. This I this, shaved it off. Bond, Bond. You, Bond, you know what? I'm, I I agree with whatever Bond about to say about this. I I re like no because I, I like kind of panicked and shaved it off because it was starting to look really dingy. But now I'm starting. Well, to actually... it's smooth, like it's smooth beard. can put whatever mutton chops he had on camera. You can get your ass on camera. Yeah, and look what smooth <laughs> did. He cut him off. You ugly nigga, bro. <laughs> you ugly nigga, bro. I will say I'm a yo, I, see, yo, see, no, B, no, BG, seen, this is why yeah, I grew my shit during COVID. Has anybody ever seen Blender? I don't know. Let me tell you something, bro. Yeah, it's Even if you ugly, bro, you got a beautiful soul, brother. Nah, Blender, bro, I, I'm not going to lie. That. I'm not going to lie. I imagine Blandrew uh, looking like a BG Blackbound mashup. They said he looked like Anthony Mackie. This city like no, so you're gonna be seven feet tall with buck teeth and a fucking. I don't teeth? have buck teeth, Jack. <laughs> oh, my bad. I guess I'm gonna prove it, My bad. That's the, that's the beautiful they, bond. They Landry looks them. like JJ Walker. Why do you guys keep like that's the most like dishonest look like that you guys keep bringing up? She did look like Jimmy Bro, Walker. I remember that. Saw you, brother. You were like, yeah, yeah, you looking like this. No, you like Oprah side, nigga. That's who you look like. You said that Jimmy Walker. <laughs> No, his name, his name is OS, OSN. He used to do YouTube. That's who you um, like. But you're messing up the feng shui of the pod, is what they're saying, Blandrew, because everybody else is on camera. You know, you're, you're, you're the final one. You know, you need to get on cam. They'll live. They no, said smooth like game plays this. Wow. Oh, yeah, and you said, what about your smooth uh, kiss move? Don't know, actually. Would, would you say? About your beard? I, I cut it. Yeah. Because it doesn't grow, like it's like it's like the Anthony Hamilton. Oh, like. You just have to wait for the texture pack to. Yeah, you, you gotta get you gotta get the blood pack. flow going in your face, brother. Get you a derma roller. The, the shaders maybe. gotta load in. I I, I started the using the, uh, the I started in. using the minoxidil stuff. It didn't mess with my heart or anything like that, so we're good to go. So is, is it working though? Did you go scales? That should be scaring me, bro. I need to use any minoxidil, brother. <clears throat> anyway, no, the the minoxidil is starting to like fill out in some of the patches a little bit. Does it give you a wind time, no. Is it making your ass fatter? No, it's not. That's what you're saying. Yeah. But I'm constantly in the gym, so we're good. Jackie, stuff with that shelf booty. Next topic. Y'all yeah. are sick. Um, <laughs> Tom Warren, he was on somebody's show. Uh, he said he doesn't think Elder Scrolls 6 is going to end up exclusive. 
I'm about sick of that, dude. Who, who, who gives a fuck? I mean, when is that even coming I mean, out, bro? you could say this about every about? Xbox game, so. Yeah, like, who, not... who, who, who gives a fuck? At this point, yeah, you could say this about every Xbox game. But fuck but time, Elder, Elder Scrolls 6 me. was going to be their big one. <laughs> every game is going to be, is, is there supposed to be their big one, though. But this is going to be the big, big one. So, oh, brother. Oh, brother. Know, when Just it like comes Starfield. Out, when it comes out in 2030. So. Was he the one that said he thinks gaming would be a hundred dollars a game next generation, or was that Tom Henderson? That's crazy. I, I be getting mixed up too. I can't remember. Uh well, I don't care about Elder Scrolls, so whatever. What else do I have? Oh, Pal World hits twenty five players, twenty five million players in one month. Um, there was a you know a little conversation, a, a discourse about this. Um. A correction tom warren said damn it that was a discord pop-up um someone corrected me it was some type of correction anyway uh a correction yeah. tom warren said elder scroll 6 would be on playstation because game pass will be on playstation by then by deontay undergoing a rebirth in the discord oh that's what he said i don't oh, that i don't piece. i don't believe that 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 the game pass is gonna end up on playstation i don't believe that um, I mean, not not that I wouldn't it matter to me any either way, but I, just, I get what I, you're trying to say. It's like the game. All right, they're they're gonna it's gonna end up like Ubisoft, right? By by then, what 2026, 2027, all of Xbox games would be on PlayStation ported on PlayStation. By then, they can actually put a curated version of Game Pass where it just has Xbox games on it. If that happens, Phil Spencer lied to y'all even more so <laughs> than before. <laughs> Yo, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Because that that was the one of the things that he used to, you know, just soften the blow for Xbox dudes in that in that podcast was that you still have Game Pass and that is exclusively an Xbox thing. So that'll be another thing he done like lied to y'all about if that happens. So <laughs> is what it is. Um, see, if, if Jack was more of an open minded gamer. These topics I asked this week, BG. I knew we should have said something. You? I told BG we didn't need to have a podcast. These today. topics I asked, bro. We talking about goddamn me. What Jared, we talking about, bro? Jack, Jack, you're not playing no games right now. That's your I problem. Could play, I, I could be playing Callisto Protocol right now after podcast. <laughs> go play Protocol, Persona nigga. Three and get even more depressed from that story. Nigga, I put a. I heard it was. I heard it was depressing. Kofi said he just beat. He was sad, bro. Anyway, yeah, he said he shed a tear. It's been a long time. <laughs> Anyway, what I was gonna say is, uh, Power World hit twenty five million. What is this trash ass game on the screen right now? Someone sent me gameplay. I don't remember who, so I was like, uh, I'm, a, I'm a pity. I'm gonna put it on screen as pity. Hey, good job, brother. Whoever sent that gameplay. What? What am I looking at? Like fucking cotton candy shooter. Um, oh, that's uh, that's stars. Stars. Oh, yeah, that's a great game. It's, like, it's just, it's just random characters sh- shooting, you know, liquidy substances at each other's faces. That's it. Um, what? Oh yeah, like Splatoon, the game you oh, like. Oh, shoot, liquidy substance at other people's. Yeah, okay. I want to. I want to play that. Hey, Jazz, you down? Yeah. Foam shark. Yeah, it actually, it game. looks, it looks easier to keep track of as opposed to the the demo or beta or whatever they dropped a couple weeks. I think back. it's just as bad. But um, speaking of Splatoon, though, they did drop an expansion pack this week. I, I yes, saw that. I, order. I saw that. It, speaking yeah. of expansion packs and DLC. We were told we were only going to get three DLCs to MechWare. Now we're getting six and a clan expansion. Oh, the the Solaris Arenas here. The Solaris Shocks are coming out of retirement. Mm. How many hours you got in that game? Oh, let's see. Good question. I'll give I'll give you my thoughts on a Splatoon side order next week. I haven't put enough time into it yet to really come up with a cohesive statement about I it. I have three hundred and seventy five hours in BattleTech. You hearing this, Jack? White Knuckle Entertainment. <laughs> White Knuckle Entertainment. <laughs> and 1,000. Oh, oh. You turn yeah. that light back on right now. Where the fuck my lights go? My TV went oh, off. Shit. Make it and um, 1,052 hours in Mech Warrior 5. Jeez. But to be fair, a lot of that could be just me watching TV and just fucking around the Mech Lab, not actually playing the game. Alex, have you seen uh, Jack in the Dark a lot of times? Nope, not with his eyes open. Said <laughs> if I seen Jack, what? <laughs> what y'all happened? Y'all are freaking frogs. Uh, so Said if I seen Jack in the dark. Uh, yeah, I asked you, have you seen him? Happen to like see him in the dark on any occasion? Me and I was like been in the same place with no beard before. I don't think. Not yet. Yeah, I've been trying yeah. to work my way up there, but he always 
shut the door on me. So. Well, I was going to say, oh, yeah, 25 million players for Power World. The only thing I was going to say, discourse about this. Are you uh, like Yeah, check um, me out, bro. Hold on. Oh, my God. Is that players, <laughs> players, total players don't really mean nothing um, by itself. T- concurrent players and sales and, like, even that stuff means more. That's all I was going to say. Uh <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of all we we got for this week. Um, I need to do. We gotta go go to a word from our sponsors real quick again, and we'll be back. Read some super chats and uh, stay tuned, folks. Uh, right here on Weapon Wheel. Don't turn that dial. Hey, hell, we'll be right here. Don't touch that dial. Our streets. Will- right now, you're watching Weapon Wheel podcast, and I am your host, Broken Games HDR. But we got to take a brief intermission to talk about something very important: male hygiene and manscape because let's keep it real a lot of y'all out there is filthy it's 2024 and y'all still ain't grooming yourselves as men and that's crazy all right so check this out it's never too late to level up your grooming game and keep your bush tamed manscape's new lawnmower 5.0 ultra is every man's cheat code to looking good feeling good and turning the page on your confidence this year in 2024 don't wait till next year that's probably why that girl left you when y'all were in that encounter because she's seen what you had you wasn't groomed you wasn't cleaned she was like i'm out of here so solve your problem right now right whether you're going for a trim or a clean shaven look this trimmer has you covered trusted by over 10 million men worldwide now is your time to get a grip on your grooming with this exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use the code BGHDR for 20% off plus free shipping. Bro, let's be real. You can't beat that deal to groom your franken beans. The ball dropped two months ago, but you don't got to drop the ball on your balls. Do I have more information on the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0? Of course I do. Glad you ask. Equipped with two skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go smoother wherever your heart desires. It's like having your own personal stylist at your fingertips or wherever you need it, because you can use it anywhere. And did we mention it's completely waterproof? And for my men who want the full grooming experience, look no further than the Manscaped Performance Package 5.0. You, of course, get the Manscaped 5.0 lawnmower, Manscaped, nose and air trimmer and of course after you finish grooming and shaving you still got to take care of yourself so that's why they provide the aftershave ball lotion so you can lather up with that and of course the good old ball deodorant also as a gesture for the new year they even threw in two free gifts the boxers 2.0 and the shed 2.0 toiletry bag because they know good and well That some of y'all are still wearing y'all boxers from high school, bro. That's not cool. Y'all got to get rid of those. You got to let them joints go. Replace your boxers. Once again, get 20% off and free shipping with the code BGHDR at manscaped.com. Embrace a new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer courtesy of Manscaped. Now back to Weapon Wheel. Corvette? What the fuck? Yes, sir. (laughs) I don't know what you're driving a car. (laughs) Make sure you shave your balls. It's very important. I already got the lawnmower three. I heard the lawnmower five sucks. Mm. Well, um, after a promo, I don't know if that's a good thing. I heard the two is the best one, to be honest. I, I got that one too. Yeah. Uh, I got some uh, qu- uh, weapon wheel question crew Patreon questions. Nick Knack, just wanted to give quick question inspired by some stuff going on my timeline related to character appearances. If you had to pick your poison between these two, uh, which would you support? A a game with no terrible microtransactions and bullshit going on in the company, but all of their characters are covered up and look ugly like the Fable Lady and Mary Jane from Spider-Man 2. Or B, a game where both males and females have equal treatment in both how they are sexualized and how how great their faces look, um, a la uh, the Hoyoverse games and original Lara Croft, but there's terrible transactions and bullshit going on with the developers. I'll just say I would take the ugly people. I don't want terrible transactions and shit. I'll take I'll take a no, the Hoyo verse is like those <laughs> anime guess and impact type of games. The moment yeah, this nigga go crazy are crazy successful though. The moment this nigga said a quality, I was out. <laughs> well, he <laughs> wants he wants sexy niggas and bad microtransactions. You're Pretty, a freak, yeah. buddy. Um, you're a freak, buddy. Who sent that question? Knickknack. I'm gonna take. Yeah. Um, 
I, I don't listen. I've been on record. I don't really mind microtransactions like. Oh that. my god! <laughs> I, I don't. On a dick snack. Hey, y'all yeah, niggas freaks, right. bro. Y'all cut it out, bro. This man is gonna be jerking off the fucking Tifa. Oh man, I don't mind microtransactions, bro. So, so you want a sexy nigga with some egregious practices in your games, VG? You know he mentioned women, and you focusing on the niggas. Well, he said he might. He also mentioned uh, sexuality. Equality. First of all, yeah, Jack, you, you you're not gonna talk to me while you're laying down in that position. You got a sexy nigga in your in your presence right you now. You are not you gonna talk to me while with. you laying down in your bed in that we position think, with holding. Thinking, hold, come on, think. bro. What are you what doing? Thinking? What are we thinking? Don't smile! Don't don't smile at the camera, nigga. What, 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 what we thinking? Freak ass what frog. Think? What's wrong with you? What you thinking though, man? Come on, nigga. Posing we like we who, having fun here. Who this man think he is, bro? Posing like that, holding his head up, laid down, like we having fun here. Come <sighs> on. Anyway, Earl Walker. Who are the nigga, good look guys? Like getting popped <laughs> off right now. <laughs> I wish, brother. Who are the good guys on Hell Divers? The auto- the autonom- automatons, the hell uh, the Hell Divers, or the bugs? The answer is the bugs. The Hell Divers are are killing the bugs for samples to power their ships. Mm. <laughs> Did you just ask those questions? Then give us the answer without us giving the chance. Like, what the fuck? He no, he was telling us it wasn't really a question. Oh, um, hold on, who you said the good? How the good bugs the good guys? They because it, it's it, it's kind of like the the theory of uh uh what you call it um. Shadow of Colossus, where technically you think you're the you're the good guy because you're trying to save a princess, but you're actually just killing innocent monsters that are not bothering nobody. But on the other hand, the bugs were they invaded Earth to start killing humans. That's their natural habitat, the humans. Or so. was it they were, were there they first there they were there first and we dirt, started dirt, 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 dirt. <laughs> and we started to build <laughs> On their land, in their territory, because that's what humans do. I mean, I've seen Detroit. Oh, I don't think roaches. Well, humans do. That's what white people do. True. You think roaches created Detroit, BG? I mean, it's not out the realm of possibility. They, they were there first. I know that. <laughs> you come on. You think you think humans or roaches was in Detroit first? I know which one gonna be their last. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, hey, man. man, that's a great question. So he, and then he, I've been to Arkansas too. You might be right. He had a point, man. He's right. We're the bad. We're the bad guys. In Arkansas. Alex live in Arkansas. Also, fucking shithole. Oh, shit. Wow. That's somebody from Memphis saying that. Yeah, it's like a sprayed asshole in Arkansas. That's nuts. Um. So we're the bad guys in Hell Divers too. Now you know. Cool. I mean, we're that. fighting for a fucking democracy, and we got two bald niggas on the ship. I already knew we were the bad guys. As soon as I dropped on the ship, there are two bald black people. There's a bald black woman as soon as you walk on it, and by the central computer is a bald black dude. Mm. Uh, Super chats, Sensei J. Dot Smooth, you didn't take off work for Xbox conferences. The conference is still Ooh. going going to be there when you get off yeah. work, dog. Or you can uh, watch again. We discussed this. Like uh, I did be back when Microsoft used to go during the week, but they go on Sunday, so I have no need. Okay. <laughs> um, Rich Rod nine oh eight. That new dip set. That new dip set in for game though. That new dip set in for game hey. though. What are you? Know what are you talking about, brother? I don't. I'm not sure. You got a new album out. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, is oh, there a new dip set out? The new dip set uh, in for game though. I, not sure what he was saying. Rich Rod, you want to clarify in the chat? Brother, we de- we deal in English, brother. You got to run that back. <laughs> Uh, Joey L, the Justice League are not dead in Suicide Squad. They're in Brainiac ship. We fought clones. That I don't know if that's true, but that's a great way to get out of what you've done. That's a <laughs> it is. It's a great way. Um, yeah, I, I haven't seen that 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 theory or which kind of makes sense because maybe he wants to do something else with the justice league so he sent distraction clones out there i, I don't know uh but that's a good that's a good uh way to get out of what they've done um 3mg shout out to ricky cd project red dropped the ball with cyberpunk and look now game <coughs> game uh because game is way better because of it rocksteady has one last chance or else we keep pushing yeah um demark mills i used to take time off from work to watch E3, social reject and proud. A. Thank yeah, you, sir. Yes, sir. Also, do Mark Mills. 
for the 400th Weapon Wheel episode, could I make a custom intro music? I make uh, orchestral music. I have a demo reel on YouTube. Cheers from Philly. He's about to step on you, Alex and Wonton. He about to step on your shit. Y'all, go, y'all, y'all cool Who is this from Philly? D- do Mark Mills. He want to make a little orchestral music intro for us. You, you down with that, Alex? I'm with it. Love orchestra music. Yeah, can y'all hear me now? Doot yeah. doot. My ship kicking frozen. He said he's trying to do an orchestral uh, battle rap. What did he say? No, he said he's just want to gonna make some orchestral <laughs> intro music for the podcast for the 400th episode. I think that'd be fire. I think we've um, I think it's been a, a good distance time to have a new intro. Anyway, what episode are we on right now? <laughs> Three ninety seven. Three ninety seven. Oh. Yeah, Damn. Pay, pay what, what are we doing for four hundred? Another <laughs> Neverland meetup. I'm pulling my dick out. I wasn't in the meet up for yeah, the 400. Hey, you got to bring Jimmy back for 400, bro. Yeah, I probably do. Got a weight limit, bro. And this nigga Jack takes us all the way to the limit. <laughs> I know we both can't be on there. Hey, so I'm got to get brother. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of give, brother. How, how much? How many pounds do you think uh, between all of us, like total? I know I take up twenty pounds. Um, fuck out of here. You know, BJ, I lifted up Alex over my head one time, bro. It was kind of crazy. Bro. <laughs> we got uh, the picture. We put it up. Wait, how much you weigh, Jack? Yeah, I gotta go find that with. Uh, I'm on the wrong side of three hundred, brother. <laughs> I'm on, I, I, I just made it to one hundred ninety-four. <laughs> I'm almost at my goal of two hundred. Yeah, I'm only. I'm one eighty-eight. Yeah. Nigga, is that a leader or a regular coat, bro? And, and oh, that's forehead smooth. I'll see you, nigga. <laughs> the wrong side of 300, so that's crazy. I'll, uh, I'll drink to that. So I think, so Jack is 300. The rest of us, the rest of us are probably close to, like, are probably closer to 200, some, something around that. This nigga just took off an extra day yeah, on his I'm life. Two fifteen. About I'm two fifteen. <laughs> so we like, we, so we like thirteen hundred together. While nigga, Jack, how the fuck you do that math, bro? Hold on. We like thirteen hundred because. All right, Blair, maybe yeah, somewhere. Yeah, like OBG. yeah, and you, and you the. Oh, he Real dark as hell. Like, you don't like black. You don't like black cats either. No, I, like I love black cats. I'm just saying he dark as hell. Shit, nigga, beat me yeah. up. All, All right, fire. Um, listen. That is, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, that's the show. We getting out um, early wait, tonight? Yeah. Huh? Wait. So you? Yeah. Hell yeah. Wait, you, yeah. Wait, hold on, BG. You brought. You made that whole thing that you're not gonna mention Tifa cities like one time. No. <laughs> no. That, that that was that was for the Benjis of the Benji. world. That wasn't for to talk <laughs> oh. to be talked about. Hey, Jazz, did you notice how the, how, the, how the PlayStation guys switched up their stance as far as it's just pixels, who cares when it pertains to like these masculine looking PlayStation girl, female characters, but now all of a sudden with the GTA girl, Stellar mm-hmm. Blade, and Atifa, Aerith, all, all of a sudden they care about how their women look in games now. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, no, Resident PlayStation League. guys have always wanted attractive people. No, nah, right? they, nah. yeah. they, they always did complained because about back the censorship. <laughs> They've always Wait, been complaining about censorship. Bottle. You know, I, I, w- I would have picked Aerith over Tifa, but, you know, <laughs> Aerith, <laughs> can't, Aerith can't cook. <laughs> Wait, why would you pick Aerith over Tifa? I mean, you would, yeah, you would think that she would be more homely, but she can't. She can't cook. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> no, she did. That's why. More of a traditional uh, woman is what you're I mean, saying. I mean, you, I mean, you got to choose Jesse because Jesse is literally a ride or die, literally, and she can cook. <laughs> See what you did there. ABG. Also. Um, the past two episodes since we've had sponsors, the first episode Jack called a nigga faggot, and then the second episode now Jack has fallen asleep on stream. So as we've gotten every ad, yep. Jack has done. Another- I feel like, but I, I feel like I gotta, I gotta take it a step up every time we get a new ad. And, and then, and so then next, every time, next week be a and, and, and then he want to be in the DMs with it with his country bumpkin accent. Hey, BG, how come we can't get no good sponsorships? I'm like Jack. You falling asleep like, and you threatening uh, to kill yeah, people. Jack, Jack, you gotta if you wanna get a good sponsor, you gotta get this for Alex's crazy ass beard, like I said. I thought that said one. deadly headly on that fucking box. You, you, oh, you got you gotta get this so you know, wash it between your your lumpy ass lumps on your chest. Five. Uh, you know, this is for Blandrew and Smooth, you know, because they they're all patchy and shit. That's a good that's a good promo right there. Hey, Every one of those you use, do one of you using all of those for your ass and your gooch bar? What the fuck? Was that English? You said what? Gooch? 
Oh, yeah. that's, that's, that's the difference between the, that's Why, the, you shake, between you the booty and the balls, 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 right? You got, a, you got all of that just for your is, is, for your backside. I, I mean, it, I mean, one. Good, I I literally it, went over what they all do. Like one is for your beard, which you need to shave because that shit's out of control. One's to wash yourself, which I hope you do. You shave your butt before bud. Shave your butt. You know you have to squat over a mirror when you do it. Hey Jack, next oh episode just do the Freddie Gibbs, bro. <laughs> just start the camera. Oh, that. that'll be a good one. Be good. <laughs> we can Yo, start early. We can start hey. earlier on that if you want. What's good, bro? <laughs> it's time to get out of here. That's, a, um, that's the only way to uh, one up it. I looked at the watch number and it was at six 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 just now. It's still there. I'm just kind of freaking me out. Oh hey. God, we're getting out. We're getting out. Forty five minutes early. Let's go. Let's go. All right, outros. Jack. Hey, man. Awesome fucking week, man. Awesome fucking guest, bro. The topics were on point as always. Thank you, BG. Thank you, brother. Thank all the viewers. Hope you guys have a great rocking evening. Absolutely. All right. You look like you're in a hospital bed, Jack. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not too far off, Jazzy. I ain't too far off, brother. Oh, oh man. Not- not too far, he took a brother. Sip of coke and I looked back at him. He was flat like a fish stick. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't don't Jack's tattoo look like it was like written in like twelve font at one point? Now it's thirty six. That's Big John right <laughs> that there. Shit, that that shit done yeah. stretched. Hey man, I'm a big stepper, BG. You don't know nothing about uh, that. You understand yeah, me? Right. You ain't got stripes in your hood. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ain't good in every hood uh-huh. you walk in. You know what Imagine I mean? You, wait, what 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 you gonna say? I was talk to him. Imagine you at a buffet and you feel this, you know, your back, you got Big John imprinted on the back of your, <clears throat> back of your shoulder blade, nigga. Yeah, okay. Big you ass ain't font no big tattoo. Stepper. Talk, you ain't no big different. stepper. Big ass talk font. different. You got any tattoos, BG? Nah, I'm, I'm clean skin. Good. Oh, don't, get, skin. don't get any, BG. Show your, show your ass, nigga. I'm, I'm not a tattoo ass. type of guy, but, you know, um, you know I'm, I'm sexy without him, so. Hey, can you get my name tattooed on you, BG? Wow. Like, no, can't do, sir. You want, you want me to... Jack- I get Jack don't moves little man. Tattoos. Get Jack I, moves little man on your chest right here. Jack moves little man. Get uh, that. I heard henna are, is for women, so I can't even can't even do that. You know what the so. fuck the hen- oh, yeah. Henna smells like barbecue. That's why I hate it. I thought y'all was talking about uh, hentai. I ain't know what y'all was talking no, about. No, no, sir. I don't I, fuck with that. I don't fuck with that. Um, Blandrew. Good podcast this week, everybody. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth releases this. Thursday, I believe. So I'll be checking that out for the podcast. Next week, we'll be giving my thoughts on that. Shout out to Jazzy for coming through. Always appreciate having you here. Um, make sure you guys check out What's Up PlayStation this week. I believe they have Sean Layden coming through for a third time. Oh, yeah. So shout out to them. Shout out to them boys. Speaking of which, Jay BG, Barry how, come and Persona. Get Sean Layden, how come they can get Sean Layden, but all we can get are like bottom of the barrel Twitter space dudes? <laughs> because, because, <laughs> because, they have Xbox on the pod again. Because, because Jack want, Jack want to pop his pussy every time he get on the, on camera. That's why. Sean Layden ain't trying to oh, see yeah. that. Sean Layton sleep just like I do, nigga. Sean Layton right behind me right now. <laughs> under, a gra- <laughs> under a growl tail? That's what you say. Right I, I bet you would like that so he can comfort you and in, in in, in, uh, whisper sweet things about PlayStation back in the day into your ear. It'll that be would okay, be romantic, Jack. nigga. Fuck us what you talking about. That's romantic, That's nigga. Yeah. Look at Jay, yeah. he smiled. Uh, smooth? Girl. Yes, sir. Yeah. Best bot? Jerry? Yo, yo, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Cool. All right, man. Make sure you guys, you know, keep a lock on the Patreon. Subscribe to the Patreon. Play Xbox, you know, going going good there. Uh, probably got another uh, video skit coming out either tonight or tomorrow, um, depending on how I feel. Um, and, uh, yeah, check out Bluey. is on Game Pass. Uh, I'm about to get the 100% uh, uh, completion, Niggas, and I'll be Niggas posted on Check Bluey. out what? Bluey, the video game. It's a, it's a hit cartoon with the youngins <laughs> these days. It's a fake blue screen. You watching Bluey, brother? Yo, yo. I, I thought it was wild Shameful. when I was swimming. This thing of Jack sleeping. <laughs> hey, we, good podcast, man. <laughs> Thanks for the support, bro. Hey, Smooth, are, are, are these skits like 
just like little coping mechanisms to deal with the trauma of losing <laughs> Of course it. they are. <laughs> that last was longer than training day, nigga. I ain't know what was going on. Damn. Did but you join a gang at the end? What was that about? Yeah, that uh, uh, ten minutes is not a skit no more, uh, smooth. That's a that's that's, that's a, a, in, that's, that's, a, a indie film, yeah. that's an indie movie. That's an indie movie. Yeah. You know, my, the, the, the I do have plan on doing a short film uh, soon. Like that is the goal. It's like an action movie. Yeah. Oh, you know what you should do? Do a short film and you bring it into the Xbox headquarters. You gotta leap yeah, over I'm the actually, counter, no, game Actually, stuff. I'm going to um, I'm going to. I don't know if any of you guys going to that Sacred Symbols thing, 300, um, at the end of March. They're having a live show. Where no. is it? Oh. Yeah, it's in, in New it's York. In New York. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go there. I'm probably gonna do uh <laughs> something on the way there and there. Probably get on one of my like PlayStation fanboy cause uh cause fits and uh, try to harass uh, Colin. See how Please that goes. Don't bring a right. <laughs> he might, he might, he might they about to escort ass. this Negro right I, out of there. Make, make sure you're wearing a weapon wheel. Make sure you're wearing a weapon wheel and a weapon wheel t-shirt while you do it. Well, uh, Cog is going to be ball. there, so maybe Cog got to be like, oh, wait, wait, that's my man. That's my man. It's cool. He cool. He cool. <laughs> Smooth ain't going to tell him he's doing a skit. He's just going to run that whole acting crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> go, they going to whoop your ass, nigga. Stomp you out. Uh, <laughs> Bond? <laughs> um... Can't can't say it's been the best podcast, but you know next week will be good. I will not be streaming Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I mean, it's gonna be a giant open world game. I will do a day one stream or a one stream, but because the beginning will probably be a little bit more linear. But outside of that, you know, support the podcast, buy the products, tell Alex to shave his beard. Shit, getting a little crazy. You know, you know okay. it's soft though. I'll let you touch it one day. Look, try, out here trying to look like James Harden, but we appreciate the sport. Appreciate you coming out and fuck E Rock. Fuck, I second that. Fuck that weekend, boy. Hey, Ma, yes, that, that's our clip about to go platinum in the streets. <laughs> I have to tell you that right now. <laughs> fuck E Rock. <laughs> yes, um, sir. Is that everybody, Jazzy? You want to say something? No, nah, I'm good. All right, I think everybody did their outros. I didn't get my fucking outro, BG. Oh, you didn't? Go ahead, uh, Middle Eastern yeah. man. Yeah. Shout out to the Foam Stars gameplay that somebody put up today on the Weapon Wheel podcast. Movie Guys yes, on March 2nd. New Movie Guys episode, Dune 2, released this week. Wonton is not mm. stop crying, so. Yeah. And I am your host, Broken Games, HDR, host of the... Uh, Best podcast on the internet, I guess. Jack, if you can there sit you up go. without making a noise, I'll cash up you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your money, bro. Hey, Jack, if this gaming thing doesn't work out for you, well, what's next on your, your list of things? To <laughs> Death. <do? laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> nah. Obesity. Yeah. What's that shit? Skip on the flip or say? I'm gonna I'm sell my calls and go back to flipping the dope, my nigga. That's it. Uh, Is that the egg or you? Oh. Oh, that's my dick. But no, uh, <laughs> I'll probably go back to whip it crack. Not simple. Something, yeah. something like. Crack move, said- Johnny. Yeah. Hey. All right. Uh, we out. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Peace. Fuck. Good podcast, yeah. boys. Yes, sir. Good shit. No. Yeah. Right. Right now, you're watching Weapon Wheel Podcast, and I am your host. One second, rewind, rewind. There was a super chat. But uh, Mac, we got to take a brief intermission. I'm getting word that the very cell important phone outage was male caused by a cyber attack and male cell phone outage. Because let's keep it real, a lot of y'all out there is filthy. It's 2024, and y'all still ain't getting on y'all cell phones. That's crazy. Super chat. All right, so check this out. It's never too late to level up your grooming game and keep your bush tamed. What's the cut you get off of sales on that? I don't know why the ad was playing. Um, cut off of what? Manscaped shit. Oh, I don't want to say it. Well, I'm still live. Hold on. Peace. Then text it to the group chat. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, I think I said it in the DMs. But yeah, Magnificent Gaming, are you conspiracy theorists? Well, we don't care. Um, We're out of here. I was just reading your super chat. We out. Officially. No. Why? Right. Plenty of tried and plenty of fell. You can run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still. Bye. No, you 
can't dodge what's in my weapon well name another pod that's big or small i'm contesting it still name another spot or any section i'm king of the hill right I know my bro can't got me, see that's a black bond that can't be broken nah. No Idris Alba, I'm a black bond, they in a scoping All black panel, you can never try playing us token Yeah, we playing games, but now one of us playing a joking Not at real. all <laughs> Oh wait, then Jack move came in with the trophies Damn. God in the lane of his own, like how can you gamers approach me? How? So kids move to body, you in Halo, then sing your family an angel emoji Shoulda known, dog. you ain't got enough Series Best X's Blind got all the answers, no, you ain't gotta ask Siri questions not. All the latest gaming news, gotta be here to check it yeah. Since 2015 and beyond, I'm just here to respect it Woo. When you at the top of your tier, it's a blessing Woo. From the bottom, so no way we appear to be desperate nah. This for anybody doubting, I'm clearing a message yeah. And if you ever had a problem, plenty I'm here to correct you Plenty of fell, you could run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still no, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hill Right I know what it is, man Weapon World Podcast, y'all know what we got in the building, man We got BG We got Cash Move, we got Jack Move, we got Black Bond, I mean Blandrew, I mean, what you You can't all strafe us, bro, like, the strafe too strong